I become a little too shy for love? I've been hurt before, all's fair in love and war. So I snuggle up close to the shell I'm living in. And if I let you in, another round begins. And no, I'm spinning in a vicious cycle. I'm scared of doing something. Text me anymore. I wish they would have helped you text back sooner. Thought I opened up a door. I guess I closed the one that kept our future. Why am I always the one that does a changing? I lost myself trying to fix what's wrong while you go do the same things. I wish I'd never cut my hair cold all night Never let you love the songs I liked Always get too close and let me down I wish I'd never let us fall out I wish I'd never grew it out the way you say Cause now I'm so damn close to God and say When I look in my camera every day I wish I'd never let us fall out but I still got my hoodie Drawer. I know you wear it often as I'm gone I guess you take the things you want And leave me feeling like the lonely Take your crying as a 
sign for me to change I gave her all and now I'm barely fine with The memories hovering on my face Wish I knew better than to take your crying As a sign for me to change I gave her all and now I'm barely fine with You gotta settle down Feel your breathing start to shake up Just gotta hear me out No, it doesn't have to be your fault Oh, You try to tell me I'm a broken one You're the only one Feeling like you're not enough I know my issues Feel like they're your exit door They make you insecure But you know what they're looking for so baby, shut up, don't wanna talk about it Don't wanna let it out I know it's too much to handle No, you just want it to stop What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday night. Well, is Sunday not our Sunday nights happy? You could be happy whenever, right? Dude, I, Mondays, nobody likes Monday, right? It's not possible. I think it's impossible to like Mondays, <laughs> especially if you're an adult and you're a, a working adult, right? Um, Hey, we're going to finish control tonight if it fucking kills me. We've got like um one and a half main missions to finish this dlc and then we've got some side missions to mop up for the dlc i don't know how long it's going to take but i'm hoping not more than like three four hours somewhere in there i don't even know if it'll take that long we'll see 
but we're gonna finish it up tonight we're gonna figure out what happened to dr hartman exactly kill his ass because he's some weird interdimensional combination of the darkness and the hiss and he's all kinds of just fucking disgusting looking and messed up so we're gonna crush it tonight okay that's what we're doing yes thanks for being here everybody hannah welcome good to have you thanks for joining maria hannah redwine josh g host sway panthera Pawsum, coast ally kelman welcome i i hope everybody is uh having a good weekend gdsk09 welcome thanks for joining good to have you babylon sky i think i saw earlier was here as well good to have you also i know i threw this one up kind of like super last minute super late that's because i just can't i just can't get a chance today with uh family time and stuff to get to the computer before just now so but kids are sleeping um or are supposed to be or were when i came in here so hopefully they still are uh <laughs> so now it's time for the gameage time to finish things up hey last time when we left off we just got a um a uh, side quest right it was called uh return to sender and it was essentially for a chain letter altered item right <clears throat> so the altered item side quests have been awesome so it says return to sender find a copy machine so i think we're gonna go ahead and try to knock that one out Right now, we are over here in the shifted offices. It wants us to go back to the operations center. So we're gonna we're gonna fly back over there and do that. I don't know. The best place is probably the active investigations corridor. What's up, uh, mother of twins? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Luxy Funky, welcome. Thanks for joining. All right. Uh, it's behind us, right? Operations center, yeah. So we're looking for a copy machine. I mean, there's got to be one of those nearby, right? One would think. Oh, hey, what's up? Hiss distorted. Lovely. Lovely. Right away, the game is fucking me. Hold on a sec. I got to fix the volume for you guys. Oh, joy. Dude, the hiss distorted are such, like, they're great. They're a great enemy design, and they fit perfectly, but they are such a pain in the ass to deal with, man. Especially... Oh, no, there's a healing fuck. Fuck, I gotta deal with this guy. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. So we gotta take care of the ads before we deal with the his distorted, right? I didn't... Oh, dude, I knew it was gonna get spicy. I didn't realize it was gonna be this spicy right away. Fuck, man. How is it hitting me? I need help. I need help. All right, you help me now. Oh, my energy needs to recover. Copy the chain letter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We found the copier. I just need to kill this his distorted dude. I think launch is one of the best ways. the fuck where's it at where's it at where's it at i'm dead <laughs> right away also i shouldn't be at 14 deaths that was from last stream sorry about that i didn't get a chance to clear that there we go god damn it man fuck hey what's up brian welcome to the stream thanks for joining mr diamante good to have you appreciate you being here workman welcome good to see you all right Ooh, do i have a? Uh... I don't know if I checked at the end of the last stream. I don't remember. Do I have enough to upgrade Surge? No, we still need two shaded faucets. Man, I hope it's not too grindy to get the last level because that will be the second upgrade and then we'll need one more. How did that not hit? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, fucking are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, there we go. I would like to I would like to uh, co-op this thing to help me out. Where did it go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Heal me, bitch. Heal me. Fuck you. 
All right, I can't kill it though. I need the heals. Hosue with the five gifted channel membership or the 10 gifted channel memberships. Sorry, those went to Ash. Coast Ally, uh, Yanar, Joker Crypto. <laughs> you legend thank you so much i really appreciate it sarah davidson with the gifted channel membership as well sarah thank you so much that helps out a bunch you're a rock star fuck that oh i can take over the hiss distorted hell yeah dude all right i won that's it nothing else there's no other threat uh we just gotta Hey! I won, right? That's everybody? All right, copier. This certainly feels familiar. What the hell? Is the hiss distorted dead or alive? How many copies do I have to make of this thing? Just keep copying? <laughs> How many? Mail three copies of the chain letter. Okay, so I made three copies. I'm just perpetuating the, uh, <laughs> the, the fucking chain letter. Am I actually, is this actually a good idea? I don't know. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go mail our copies. I can't believe that I'm, I'm continuing an altered item chain letter. Uh, abandoned offices, I guess, is where we'll, we'll go next. <clears throat> yeah, membership went to a bunch of people. <laughs> I am now a, a mailman, a male woman, yes. Oh, dude, I forgot this place was fucking creepy. Why is it so... Why is it gotta be creepy? Okay, here we go. We got a mail. That's one sent. Okay. So we've sent one through the mail tubes. And now... Uh, blah, blah, blah. We want to go to the utility corridor, which... I guess this right here? What's What's that one? Turntable, I guess, would be the best one. We're going to get attacked by a bunch of enemies here. Lady Savage, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. All right. Um, That's not it. Would it be? It's going this way, I guess. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and... Do I go up here? I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, this is the right way. It's the right way. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. So there's mail tubes here in the corridor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Darkness. Come on. Hey, we finished the utility corridor for eliminating darkness. Good shit. How did I miss that before, dude? It's literally right at a light. Oh my gosh, man. I was blind. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. If it was a snake, it would have bit my ass. For real. Uh, mail tubes? Mail tubes? Mail tubes? Anybody see any mail tubes? Huh? Huh? Mail tubes? Is it down? Oh, I see mail tubes right here. And then, Bachang. One to go. One more. So now we just gotta go back, right? To the... Oh my god, I should have brought the light. I can't... I can't see my own fucking legs. Where are we? Is this... Is this... I'm lost now. I can't fucking see! Get me out of here, dude. I need a door. What? Is this... Where am I? I've got no... Okay, I see a thing over there. I see this. I don't even know where we're at. Oh, man. Do I have too many... I have too many mods. Fuck, dude. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Cat May? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Misty, good to have you. Appreciate you being here. Knight Rider, Forgotten One, welcome to both of you. All right. Oh, get rid of all the blue. We don't need blue. Even though blue is my favorite color, it's not good uh, mod wise here. Because we can craft way better ones if we really, really want to. 17 and 19%. We'll get rid of that one. C speed. We'll get rid of that one. All right. We should be good on mods now. We have another. I just picked up another blue one, didn't I? Oh. God damn it, man. No! What's wrong with me, dude? 
Alright. I can't see shite. Even with this light, man. What is this? <gasps> can I turn on a big light? Hey! We can kind of see now. What is this space? Did I not come here before? I don't think I jumped down here before. Does this count as a hidden area? I didn't get an ability point. Where are we? Oh, it's like a little side and then we can open this door. Hold on. I didn't have this open before. All right, we just need to get back to my uh, control point though. Ah, oh, shite, man. Fuck that. Fuck that, bitches. All right, lower access. Lower access. Right here. And then we need to get to the observation deck, right? Is this psychological horror or entity horror? It steals. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Tried it. Welcome. Good to have you. Uh, this is more an action adventure game with horror elements. Uh, I would say it's a mix of like psych. I don't. I don't know that I've ever heard entity horror before, but it's more of like. I would say it probably the horror aspects probably fall into psychological. For the most part, yeah. But it has interdimensional entities. Very SCP-like, right? Very much SCP-like with the altered items and the altered world events and the FBC. The Federal Bureau of Control is very much like the foundation, right? Um, Observation deck. I just... Did I teleport to the wrong place? I might have teleported to the wrong place. What's up, Bryce Howard? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, Kami. Welcome. Uh, can I not get through here? I can't get through there. All right, we got to find a way into this. Control is very, is awesome. This is about, oh my God, this is the ninth stream I've done of Control. So I have to complete this game tonight. Nine streams. I'm going to run my channel into the ground if I don't. Uh, the ninth stream, it's been a blast the entire time. I've loved it. This game has quickly shot up to like one of my favorite games I think of all time. It's, um, it is long though. Like if you do all the side quests and everything, this game, I'm going the wrong way. This game with the DLC is probably between 40 hours and 50 hours. I think we're on like hour 40 probably or somewhere in there. It's back this way that I need to go. I need to go to the observation deck. Where's the observation deck? Like is that here? Okay, kind of. I teleported to the wrong place, I think. This is the lower access point. We're right there. We need to be at this other place. Uh, transit terminal. There we go. How are the longer YouTube videos doing compared to shorter edited ones? I prefer longer. It just depends on the video. For me, my videos te seem to do best when they're somewhere between 40 minutes and an hour and 20. Um... So I think I've definitely built an audience that prefers the longer, a little bit longer edited, but if they're longer than that, it's a problem. I will say though, uh, this isn't a knock against anybody. I totally get it. But the longer a piece of content is, the, the less the watch time ends up being percentage wise, which is totally understandable. So somewhere in here is mail tubes. Is that what I'm, is that what I'm picking up here? This is the way to lower access, right? Yeah, and there's not going to be mail tubes down here. So I think I got to go up to get the mail tubes. What's up, Furbies? Welcome to the stream. Elder Gods, welcome. Good to have you. I hope you get some sleep, dude. Mail tubes! We did it. All right. I don't think this is going to be the end of the mission, though. That should take care of any bad karma or whatever. <laughs> any bad that karma. first letter get in here? Uh, I wonder if I could track it to the not? source. We got to go back to the shifted offices. There is... What's the best way to do this? Probably go back down, right? Hey, what's up, Melon Cow? Wow, welcome. Good to see you again. Right? Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? I think we'll just... I think we'll just teleport over to the shifted offices. As soon as I make it... Is it the... Is it the control point here somewhere? I guess not. I guess I'm just dumb. I must be dumb. 
We gotta go through. Oh, I need a hole. There we go. Creates a perfect circle hole. That's interesting. All right. This is not going the way I thought it was going to go. Maybe it is after I circle up on the stairs. Okay, at least I'm at a control point. Then we can fast travel over to whatever abandoned. What is that point? Loading bay. There we go. All right. Um, loading bay is not the way we want to go. We want to go back to the shifted offices. I guess I should just follow the tube. Tubes go this way. <gasps> so you're the one sending out spam mail. What happens if I touch it? It's the mailbox altered item. We that saw this in the. Hey! More superstitious blackmail. So we mailed the chain letters and we and we cleansed the altered item. I got a. Uh, I got a. Did I not get a? I thought I got a. I got a do hickam a bob. No, I didn't. God damn it. I did get a mod, though. I don't think that was it. Was it over here? This. Oh, it's another yellow one. Weapon kills after damage. We no, wait. Weapon damage after kills plus 100 percent. Holy shit. Hold on. I got another. So I have on shatter. I have projectile spread minus 100, right? That's like a special yellow one. We just got one for spin. Uh, accuracy, rate of fire, accuracy. So I think we'll take off one of the accuracies. Weapon damage after kills plus 100%. Oh, fuck, dude. That's insane. That's really good. That's a really good freaking mod. All right. Mission-wise, what else are we looking at? Another fine mess. The third thing. Uh, major targets. I actually need to do one more bureau alert, remember? So let's go do that. That's not really this DLC, but I needed one more bureau alert and I keep fucking failing bureau alerts, right? This is a major target. So this is just kill somebody. So I should be able to do this. It's just pew pew, shoot, shoot. I should be able to do this. Let's go. Swifty fingies, I like it. Oh, the mods are vigilant on spoilers. Is somebody... All right, thank you, mods. Somebody spoiling stuff. Uh, naughty, naughty. Ah! What the fuck, dude? I cannot die. I refuse to fail another major alert. I swear to God. What is up with me in these goddamn major alerts, dude? Dude, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Why can't I complete a major alert to save my life? What happens to me? What happens to me? Are they like bad luck? What happens to me, dude? I like lose all of my skills whenever a major alert happens. I don't... I... What? I did not click anything. What the fuck just happened right there? What the fuck just happened right there, dude? Fine. Fine. You know what? It's fine. It's okay. Um, where, where are we supposed to go? Are we supposed to go over? Where's the, it's right here. Loading bay. I can't, I can't believe I died so quickly. I can't believe I died so quickly. All right. What are we on? What are we on mission wise? Find Hartman in the, okay. I got this. Let's get a ranger helper. This is director Faden. Send a ranger to my position. Nice to see a director out in the field. Yeah, you always say that when you come in. Oh, God, spin sucks so bad, dude. I need an airborne ranger partner. Hey, thanks, bud. Dude, oh my god, I'm not with it today. 
I'm not with it today. I don't know what's going on. What's up, Michelle? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. We're not beating this tonight if I keep this shit up. This is the director. I need backup at my location. All right, first off, we're not using spin. Spin can go fuck itself. <laughs> God, dude. I tell you what, Surge is great, man. God damn it, dude. I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take you. Yeah. Hey, I'll take you too, dude. Give me two Rangers. In here to touch no but there's a file hey hold on <laughs> in the middle of a fight let's stop and read a file night spring screenplay page three so this is the screenplay we found the first two pages last night that alan wake wrote right he was trying to get a job being a writer for this show the director steps closer to the horrible entity he reaches out with a steady hand director you are mine now creature i will return you to my facility and control your power Scientists, sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as the scientist looks on and does nothing, like the coward that he is. Entity, subtitled, I am not the one being examined. I am not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity. His once sparkling eyes are now dull and empty, are now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Scientist, sir, sir, we have to escape. Director, we cannot. They are in control now. I got what I wanted. What the fuck? Uh, who else is? That's a sniper. Come on, you guys can kill him. I believe you can hit him. Can you guys just fucking kill him? Thank you. Oh no, it's a big bitch. It's a big bitch. Are they all down there? Oh, they're like... Alright. I got this. Hello! How did I... Got him. Fuck you, motherfucker. Oh no, we got his charge! We got his charge! We got his charge, I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Oh, fuck. Come on, we gotta kill this sour guy. Are my airborne rangers dead? Are they really that shitty? Are they just not doing anything because they suck? Well, that guy's still alive, somehow. <clears throat> What's up, JJ Frost? Welcome to the stream. Kelso, welcome. Good to have you. Uh... Are we supposed to take this light and do... Can I take this light? I don't think I can. All right. I think we're supposed to go down. I'm just making sure there's not anything I'm missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're supposed to go down. Nope, maybe not. That looks like a void. I don't like that. All right, let's stay here for a sec. Are we supposed to go up here? I know where those doors go. Where are we supposed to go here? Oh, I see. There's uh there should be some sort of door. Oh, tunnel. Tunnel. I see. There's a big it's yellow. It's like go this way, you big idiot. <laughs> hey, what's up on Apologetic Yet and welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Scott, welcome. Long pig launchable, good to have you. Good to see everybody filtering in. Stop it, YouTube. Stop telling me to insert ads. I'm not inserting ads in the in midstream. Alright. Ooh, no. Ooh, no, girl. This don't look good. Oh, I missed something. Fuck, fuck. We're gonna go back. I missed something. There was, uh, was it a collectible? What was it? What did I miss? Am I just dumb? All right, I didn't, I didn't miss anything. I swear to God, there was a... Yeah, like, what is that? Oh, it's to bring it... Oh, my God, I'm so stupid. Okay. <laughs> 
it's to bring the elevator back down hey what's up space walker welcome to the stream thanks for joining <clears throat> all right it's good to see you man hope you haven't been working too too hard dude is that a moon lander and there is uh there's what's his face there's uh, a fuck a doodle uh hartman hey oh that's the final upgrade oh i thought we had uh, i thought we had okay all right all right all right so we have surge fully upgraded i thought i thought we were further away from that than what huh huh i don't know what's going on obviously old age is getting to me <clears throat> ammo recovery on taking explosive damage damage while low on health ammo cost while levitating Ah, uh, damage while low on health or you know what we'll put that in for right now and then what is this uh in a shield we don't need that get rid of the blue are there weapon mods we should get rid of any blue no okay he doesn't give a shit about that that's lovely all right well we have surge fully upgraded the fra maro awe altered world event mobile launch lab okay oh, dude i don't like this all right we're just gonna run in here we're gonna hide in here <laughs> maybe he'll go away one day oh my god i hate this guy where am i supposed to go <clears throat> right here i see is that a power core but i have to get rid of the darkness around it i don't know what that just did did that open up another area over there also why is there a lunar lander here oh that thing is encased in darkness i don't have a light right now shut up you fucking twisted entity fuck holding cell what's that chat remind me to check that out after we're done with this bitch there's a bunch of power cores in darkness i need a light to be able to get him out though all right we're gonna learn about this awe uh the fra maru awe-7 the apollo 14 entity commonly known as fra how would you guys say that how would you phonetically pronounce that you think uh underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance into the oldest house the entity can speak though its poor grasp of the english language makes any meaningful communication impossible interview material can be found that redacted its physical form consists solely of the extravehicular mobility unit emu spacesuit used by nasa astronauts the same model worn by the other crew this could be an authentic emu taken from one of the nasa's from one of the nasa ast astronauts though this suit does not bear anywhere's name or one materialized through redacted conversion or possibly redacted corporealization i can i i know corporal right corporeal realization right the suit itself is slightly damaged which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat for the entity to strap into during re-entry the emu is entirely hollow and pieces can be removed though it seems to agitate the entity x-rays and spectrograph imaging have shown redacted shape outlines existing within the suit for safety reasons the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered that is such a cool entity the apollo 14 entity known as frau oh my god that is like oh dude mixing space shit with scps hey jam slam mega hoop all right where what do i do here i can't use that where's the next spot over there oh and he's like right there too look at that fucking guy dude why is his rib cage coming out of his back <clears throat> like what happened to him okay that moves that <clears throat> is there a reason we want to move it where did we we moved it just right to us but we need to move it we need to move it back to where it was so i can go over there i think or moving it that way is gonna clear the darkness on that power core yeah all right i can get that power core now all right we gotta do this quick hurt me 
The fuck was that shit, dude? I need two power core. I need two power cores for up here, though. How is he gonna hurt me again? I gotta be in the light. He is so goddamn fast. I don't know that I can make it over there without dying, guys. This guy is kind of scary. So question, if Hartman willingly jumped into Cauldron Lake, does that mean he willingly self-deleted and this version of him is just basically a zombie? What's up, uh, Cynic? Welcome to the stream. I don't know on Apologetic Yen. Did he willingly jump into Cauldron Lake? I know we read a bunch of notes about his history yesterday. Or was he... Was he... Was he corrupted by the darkness and then he willingly jumped in? I can't remember. You might be right. Uh, what's up, Leslie? Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you, Leslie. I gotta get over there. What the fuck do I do, man? He's like just camping right there. Okay, what happens if we... What does this do? Okay, nothing. I need... I would... Okay. I shouldn't have did that. I could have used that light right there, I feel like. I could have hopped around. <sighs> All right, he's moving away. I just got to risk it. I got to risk it for the biscuit, dude. And I'm dead. <laughs> All right. We have to be... I have to be a little more cautious. We have to plan our movements a lot better than what I just did. All right. Uh, Nico, welcome. Good to see you. <sighs> Dude. This guy can go fuck himself. Alright, what did that do? What did that button specifically do? It moves that light. And undoes that power core. Okay, I missed that last time. I didn't catch that. So I actually need to pick up that power core. Right? That's one of the power cores we need for over there. Nope, 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 nope. Don't fuck with me, dude. Don't fuck with me. Alright, I'm much slower. So I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna throw that over that way. I'm much slower if I try to move. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, I knew it. I knew I was going to get hit. God damn it. But look at that. All right. Now we have both and it opened the door right there. We haven't been over to that place, though, and I don't know if that's important or not. But we should just... We should... Okay. We got to turn the lights on in here. Before we get him out of here. We got to turn the... Or before we start investigating that area. We have to get the lights on. Is it bad that you're not a member of the channel? No, not at all. That's just if you have some extra dough and you want to throw it my way to help me keep creating content, then you could do that. But if you don't or you don't want to, that's not a big deal at all. You do you, boo. Whatever works for you. Yeah! Motherfucker! At some point, we're gonna have to actually fight him, though. I wonder if this is all just, like, weakening him so that we can actually take him out. Gerbil took the top of the head. What? <laughs> Speak with the voice on the cell intercom? Oh, is that the holding cell that I saw? Okay, let's go back. I think it's the holding cell. Okay, this is the way forward. The service ducks, obviously. Uh, let's go back then. Let's go talk to that holding cell. What's up, Phantom Force player? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. All right. We got to check this whole area for lore, for items. And then I want to go up to the Lunar Lander because that looks, that looks so cool, dude. I really like that they made that an altered item. Essentially an SCP, right? All right, last time there was a place with shelves like this, there was a couple of audio recordings on top of the shelves, right? Doesn't look like there is right now, though. The holding cell that we need to speak to is right there. Anything up here, though? Can I land? Like, right? Fuck. Okay. It's a little tight. There's also that all the way up there. Dude, look at me. I'm gonna go to space, man. Can I get in here? Nah, I can't. 
the American flag. Uh, this is, is this real lunar dust and rock? I wouldn't put it past the FBC or is it simulated? It might be simulated. Remember last stream we learned that the Federal Bureau of Control and NASA had a partnership, right? So of basically sharing, um, you know, some resources and information here and there. Damn it. I can't get up here, can I? Oh, it's so close. Why can't I get up there? Fuck, fuck, fuck. I should be able to. No. Ah. I can do this. We want to get all... Mm, mm, mm. Missy Ellie, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Yeah. I did it. I did it. I don't even know if there's anything up here or if we're supposed to be up here. We'll see. I could have tried to get up here and just run around from that guy. They put nothing up here? You know, we never found a third cat in the Foundation DLC. I wanted to find the cat more. We have time at the end of the stream. We might, I might look up some of that just to save time and we might spritz around and get it. All right, holding cell. Side quest. Yes, hello. Yes, Prisoner. Worry who? See the sea. Hello? Who is this? Hello. Great about Approach with caution. Long roads and no hardly. You are bygone? Uh, This person sure. makes no sense. Is this Fra, the entity Why Fra? Why are you locked up in here? Ah, uh, casual turning. Back in front. And Gerbil took the top head. Not being pressed for that. Lady going and losing back for I? Sorry, I I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? Gerbil took the top the ahead. The head for tails. He wants the head. The reading news, jars, words, and tumble. The reading head. Okay. Okay. Take it easy. I'll uh Take I'll a look. Take a look. <laughs> I wanna open the door. So maybe it wants something to read. I know what the prisoner for a wants. Jar. Let's Where the, see what we can find. Am I just gonna like look around? What, huh? Find out what the prisoner wants? Okay, maybe there's something in the mobile lab so I can give it. Hey, what is this? This could be what it wants. Cheese? That was like che shot. cheese and grapes on a plate. I don't I don't think that's what it wants, but I guess we can put it in here and try. Jars ahead. Scotch and peppers? Head. Okay, I wasn't right. <laughs> Let's try something else. We're just going around and picking up random items to give <laughs> to give this guy who doesn't who like is just saying nonsense. Toilet paper? Does he need toilet paper? Like this. <laughs> We're giving him toilet paper. He took a poo and he has no toilet paper. That's got to be the worst, dude. It's the worst, man. Head. A S B E. That doesn't spell Head. anything. Nope. Let's keep trying. That doesn't spell anything. Hey, good night, Sarah. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for joining and supporting while you could. Uh, is it still in here? And I'm looking for something. Where could it be? Those were all the mobile labs, right? I believe so. Huh. It says there's still something in here. So an item that I can pick up in here somewhere. Find out what the prisoner wants. Is it in here though? Or is it just his holding, his holding cell is in here? It might just be that his, okay, hold on. There's an office up here. Let's get into that. All right, there's an elevator to call up. This might be the way we're supposed to go, actually. Yeah, I believe this is the way we're supposed to go. All right. Have a good one, tried it. Thanks for joining while you could. Appreciate it. Uh, okay. I don't think... Is there, is there something else in one of the mobile labs? It just didn't pop right away? Hmm. We might have to continue forward and find items in other areas. That's what I'm starting to think. Yeah, I'm starting to think that. I think it's just, I think it's just 
noted here because yeah the good thing is uh it i'm pretty sure it's like the base game it doesn't matter if you don't complete it before you finish the main mission you can always complete it afterwards so all right we'll continue forward i'm betting there's some items we can pick up in other areas probably in areas moving forward that we can give him oh there's darkness is there a light back here for me somewhere yeah oh god damn it that's not the light oh did igp drop a video hell yeah what, did, what, what video did igp drop good shit all right oh service to, this is one of the areas to clear all the darkness or is it the video he dropped yesterday? He dropped one today or yesterday? I didn't know he was dropping one today. Good shit. Ba Chang. Hey! So now we just have to finish the darkness at the Eagle Limited. Alright, I'm gonna keep the prisoner mission um, highlighted. I'm gonna pull this off, right? And then throw it. And then we just need to drop down. One today, a few minutes ago. Okay, good shit. Good shit. Bathrooms? Anything suspicious going on in here? Huh? Any employees just... Oh, we've been here before. Wait, 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 wait. We have been here before. Okay, where does the main mission want us to go then? Hmm? No, what did we get? We're good there. All right, I'll switch to the main mission then because I don't know where this wants us to go now. Wants us to go back to active investigations, okay. What the, f what the fuck just happened, dude? Oh, there was stuff in front of the door. All right, all right, all right. Everybody calm down. And then I guess use the elevator to go up, right? He dropped a few minutes ago. Good shit. Got a TV floating in water for the thumbnail. I just got a notification. I, I don't know what it is. I didn't know he was doing a video today. Good shit. God, he is so good at thumbnails. That's the thing holding me back. I gotta get better at thumbnails. My thumbnails suck ass, dude. They're so bad compared to... He is such... He does such good compositing work in Photoshop. It's insane. I need to find time to, like... Polish up that skill for myself. Great timing. Hartman just came through here. God, he was hideous. He tore the security door into the Bray Falls AWE site wide open. He was so oh, okay. ugly. Like, wow. I got a good look at him. And Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man. Or a monster from There's some, some 80s horror movie. You know, back when it was all practical effects? Ugh, nasty. Real Did you say something? Langston. Remember, I can't hear you. Oh, shut the fuck Never up, mind. Langston. Just go after Hartman. Yeah, I'm obviously going after Hartman. I've written, rewritten. The darkness wants to hide the past and make me lose my way. Okay. I trust what I Wake is talking to us. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. <laughs> Listen, guys, I don't actually feel that bad. Look, I know my thumbnails are are okay. They're decent, right? Like, like I can recognize. Uh, I'm I'm not being too critical on myself. I can rec. I think it's important to recognize um where you're at right and i think like there's shitty thumbnails and then my thumbnails are like in the middle and then indy's thumbnails are up here i mean indy's thumbnails are so good thumbnails and titles are like so critical and so important for success on youtube so if i can up my thumbnail and title game we, we it'll the, the views they will come they will come so how much fun must Langston's voice actor have had with all these extra lines? He had a ton of fun, dude. They're great. They're fantastic. His voice actor is really good, by the way. I've written and rewritten. 
Deconstructed, reconstructed. Experimented with different voices. Changed the style, changed myself. Forgotten the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? Gone down this path before? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress, recap, then write more. The style then, lose the fat, make it clear, ugly, functional, present, be blunt, only the brutal truth, cut through the reality, tear it apart, rewrite it. Be clever, make them do the work, form the image in their minds, they make it, you just imply, incept. They're drawn to the mystery, obsessed. You set it up, they put it together, their interpretation, and there's only one because you give them no choice. And they believe in it because it's theirs now. Oh yeah, for sure, guys. Yeah, for sure. I think my, I think my, this sounds so conceited when I say it, but I think my channel is definitely a personality channel, right? Because I'm not doing anything super special. Like I'm playing games, right? Like I'm not doing science videos or doing crazy experiments or I'm not doing crazy stunts. I'm not dude perfect. I'm not doing crazy trick shots, right? So I'm definitely a personality channel. And obviously I've, I've gotten this far, enough people like what I do. So I don't think that's an issue, but thumbnails and titles are like marketing, right? It's like, you know, it's like packaging for what I do. And if I can get really, really, really good at those, that'll bring in more people. And then the idea is, right, you get good at thumbnails and titles, make people click, not bad clickbait, but good clickbait. IGP has a really good video on good clickbait, which doesn't lie, versus bad clickbait, which is just a straight up lie. And then <clears throat> if you get good at that, <clears throat> and then people click on your videos, and then they're like, oh shit, this, this dude's actually cool, or I actually like what he does, they're gonna stick around, right? So. Melon Conwow gifted five channel memberships. Those went to Maria Loon, Monja Monk, Ghostly Graves, um, Mr. E. Manford, and uh, SWTB Aaron. Welcome to channel membership on behalf of, of Melon Conwow. Melon Conwow, you absolute rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I've definitely gotten way better at thumbnails. It's just a process, right? It takes time, it takes practice. Um, let's do this. I think this is the final mission. Hannah Redwine. Uh, with the $5 super chat said your game is strong skilly Hannah you rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it <laughs> That's awesome appreciate the love guys It's a process I think a lot of people uh, Not you guys I think you understand we talked a lot about this but I think a lot of people think that Stuck success on youtube or success as a creator online is just something that like like you just start making videos and it happens to you and i think a lot of people don't realize how much hard work successful creators put into their content and their stuff uh it takes time and practice and like you have to learn certain skill sets and everything and so igp has been doing it for 13 years i've only been doing it for three so Uh, oh, there are bad guys. I was like, what the fuck is the... What am I seeing red? Oh, shit, dude. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Oh, no. I fucked up. I shouldn't have did that. I can't see either. Oh, my God. And I'm... <laughs> dude, that space. That space is way too small. So... Yes, everybody, make sure you're on live chat instead of top of chat. Thank you, Misty. I appreciate that. I, I have this weird thing. Like, I always... That's part of my setup when I start getting ready for stream is I make sure I'm on live chat. But... And I pre, I, the, I think it's really good that the mods remind everybody because it's important and I really appreciate they do. But every time I read the mod reminder ma message, for some reason, I have a slight internal panic. I'm like, am I on top of chat? And I always have to check and I'm always I'm, I'm I'm usually fine for some reason. That's not something that I forget typically But there's always an internal panic 
I don't know why. I don't trust myself. Yeah, thumbnails can take a long time. Good thumbnails can take a long time. It's important to me too. I know you mentioned you guys mentioned using AI. And listen, I'm not I'm not advocate I'm not saying it's a bad thing if people do. I feel a little conflicted about going full AI for your thumbnail. Um, but it's important to me that my thumbnails accurately represent the game that I'm playing or what I expect to happen on stream. I don't want I don't want to oversell it or I don't want to lie about something, right? I don't want to fall into that bad clickbait realm. So I try to do I try to get an idea down about what the thumbnail is going to be and then take screenshots and or use press kit images or promo images or images from the game's website to create the thumbnail, composite them together in Photoshop, right? And do, you know, coloring work and, and shit to make it look what I think looks cool and everything. But not like, you know, not those fucking shitty clickbait ones that, you know, never work or, you know, IGP and I, we have used them before and it just depends on the thumbnail. But I'm not a big fan of like all the red arrows or everything everywhere. Like, ugh. I feel like it's just not very aesthetically pleasing, but to each their own, you know? All right. He tore through here, we already know. I'm not gonna die this time, guys. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna try not to die. You can't remember the first stream that you watched for me? I've been streaming um, about a year and a half now, right? I've been making content for three years, but I only started streaming about a year and a half ago, so. All right, I just need to kill. As soon as I start clearing this shit though, the fucking hiss are gonna come. in the elevator and get out of here you think no all right there we go we took care of the his charge now we just gotta take care of this bitch oh fuck dude how did he do that i'm gonna die I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Is he dead? Please tell me he's dead. Woo! Yeah! I did it, guys. Oh my god. Alright, is the elevator not fixed? Is there more darkness? The elevator's not fixed. What the fuck? Yo, dude, the Sons of the Forest can opener stream was your first stream? Oh my god. I had a meltdown because of that fucking can opener. <laughs> I made a short out of that too and edited short. That was a fun shit. Sons of the Forest was good. We gotta go back and do, uh... We gotta go back and do Sons of the Forest, um... 1.0, because it released, right? We gotta go do that together at some point. Hey, what's up, Nightmare Superman? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. You hate that everyone uses the YouTube oh my god face with the mouth open for thumbnails? Yeah, that started because of Mr. Beast. Yeah, I don't really like that either. I gotta be honest with you. Listen, I don't think it's a bad thing. And especially if you, you know, if, if you're if you're attractive, go for it, you know? Uh, <laughs> but uh, the whole face and thumbnails thing, especially for horror YouTubers, where they're like, you know, or like, you know, they look really scared or whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't like, I don't know that I like that. Especially, too, I don't do face cam for most of my edited videos. Like, I think I've done it on, like, two or three out of, like, 300, right? So, I don't really feel like I need to put my face in it. I don't feel like I like that. So. Thank you for meeting with us again, Dr. Arman. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I've provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event. Thanks to your accounts. Well, I do consider myself a keen observer of... We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed 
and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural, unnatural abilities that you in fact encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very Host Sway with the ten dollars super chat yes. said zigzags. Host Sway, you legend, thank you so much. Like yourselves, I, I appreciate it. Understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they say. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offenses. This is where they wow. officially arrest you can't him. Do this? I am a well connected man. Not anymore, You're buddy. A dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice, and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. <laughs> you can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. <laughs> I'm a United that States lodge citizen. Is my work. Offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Boomtown, what's up? Welcome to the stream. This stream is in five hours? No. The stream is right now. Rob, we're live. Hello. Hello. Um <laughs> Maria, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Dave, not the one. Welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. Misty said, I'm not really keen on faces and game thumbnails unless it's a character. We know you'll laugh, gasp, cringe, scream. Don't need to freeze frame it. Yeah, I'll tell you the thumbnails that tend to work best for me are thumbnails that have some sort of creature or monster in them. And they're the thumbnails that I prefer. But depending on the game, it can be hard to always do that, right? And so it's easy to rely on a game character's face a lot because those are easier screenshots to get or whatever. So it just depends. If it's a character in the game, I agree with you. But yeah, faces like the YouTuber's face. <sighs> You know, maybe if you do it once in a while, <clears throat> but there are people who do it every thumbnail. And I just like, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. It's not, it's not for me. <clears throat> but obviously it works for some people. So, you know. Oh, you meant how long the video is? Potential, I got you, I'm sorry. Potentially, potentially five hours. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going until I finish the main story and finish all of the, um, all of the uh, side quests for this DLC. This is the, we're getting close though. We're getting real close. I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. Darkness is messing with Alan. He's been, remember, he's been in the Dark Presence's dimension or parallel universe at this point for he's somewhere coming. between eight and ten years. I've got to get out of here. Dive. Oh, I agree 100% unapologetic, Yen. Yeah. Nothing against YouTubers who do that. Well, there are some YouTubers I'm not a fan of like that. Uh, like, I think it's easy to hate on Mr. Beast, but obviously he knows what he's doing. But his his face, his faces and his thumbnails are a little overdone, in my opinion. But, you know, uh, those YouTubers use their face and their thumbnails because it works for them, right? And there are obviously people who enjoy that. And if you enjoy that, that's fine. I've always said... If you enjoy something, as long as it doesn't hurt other people, go for it, right? Do Whatever it. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. He absolutely needs help. All right, what's the deal this time? Okay, it opened the first door. Oh, okay. So we gotta get rid of the darkness in each room. All right, hit the, hit the thing again. Martina, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. 
Yeah, well, I think I agree with you. I think Mr. Beast is a little overplayed. I mean, he's very, he, listen, he's a good storyteller. He knows what he's doing, right? He got that far through hard work, persistence, and, you know, he knows how to create content that connects with a lot of people, right? So I think it's really easy to hate on the big guy. I agree with you. He's not for me. I think he's gotten a little stale doing the same things over and over again. And I also think there's a certain point as a YouTuber or a creator, when you get to Mr. Beast level or Markiplier's level or Jacksepticeye's level, I hate to say it. In fact, Jack recently released a video kind of talking about this where you're at a critical mass almost. And like, it doesn't matter what you release, the video is always gonna get millions of views, right? Um, and I think it's really easy to fall into this trap of just doing the same thing over and over again because it's gonna net you that many views, right? Or never taking any risks or never evolving. So. I gotta swing it around one more time. Are we gonna get to see a Dr. Darling presentation here? It's so fucking bright, dude. All right. Now a key should appear. Usually it appears in the last room. Sometimes not though. What happens if we turn that around again? And it's out in the hall. All right, I'll turn it all the way back around just in case that affects the key spawning. Yo, the key spawned out here. Okay, we're good then. Going in bad. Wake had to escape, right? His escape. Wake yep. needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. Dude. For the party this is so interesting. He says that. Agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. You should be able to say timestamps in chat. I think. I'm not sure. I don't know if I've seen anybody try it before, Boomtown. Try it. It, it should just be minutes or hours, minutes, and then um, seconds, right? With a colon in between them. No spaces. Having to please the public and still be yourself. That is a hardcore tightrope, LOL. Yeah, I try to f I try to find a happy medium. But for me, I think it's just important. I think people connect with it more if you're just your genuine self, right? So I just try to be me. And the people who vibe with it, vibe with it. And the people who don't, don't. And that's okay. I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Uh, Toko, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Appreciate you being here. Uh, maybe timestamps don't work, Boomtown. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't work. I know it works in comments. Maybe it doesn't work uh, in uh, in live stream. If it doesn't, that's a major oversight on fucking on uh, YouTube's part. They gotta really fix that. It doesn't work like it does in comments. Damn, that sucks. That's the one thing I wish YouTube would get better at Another is uh, replica. live stream so chat features. Ordinary. This is Director Faded. I require backup at this location. It's an order, Director. I can't see anything going on in here. Alice Wake interview. Oh, we get to read the interview with Alice? Oh, dude, we heard about this playing uh, the Wake stuff, but we never got to see it. All right, let's let's listen to Wake's rights at the beginning, and then uh, we'll do the Wake, the Alice interview. Good shit, dude. The story needed many beginnings, many springs, streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her, went berserk, broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real. Fuck. The more people believed. I keep accidentally Alice moving the mouse. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head. Going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His. Escape. 
He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special, something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. We created a Dada's poem. I try anything once. Or had he tried this before? Thanks, Possum. I'm glad some people enjoy that. I, I have a really bad completionist uh, tinge for games that I like to try to do everything. I used to be a big achievement hunter back in the day. We mentioned that some. And I think it's, I, I like it. And I think it's important that you enjoy games however you want to enjoy them. Um, but sometimes, sometimes my completionist tinge bothers me <laughs> for certain aspects. Because it, it makes it take a lot longer to finish a game or see certain story elements from the main story. And then other times too, I'll find myself getting stuck or having to grind out something. Not this game. I haven't felt this way for control at all. But in some games, there are some like objectives or things you have to complete that are just really grindy and annoying. And even though I may not like that or I don't want to play that part of it, it's like I'm a completionist. So like I feel the need to do it and I wish I could just turn it off for stuff like that. But it's really hard not to uh, interview number 65 subject Alice Wake. Excuse me. After reaching out to the Bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview on Redacted 2017. Chief C file redacted for the full transcript. The interview conducted by agents Shaw and Dempsey revealed that Miss Wake has had recurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her New York apartment. Address redacted. Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Miss Wake believes that he is haunting her. Insisting he is not Alan, but a fucking monster in his body. That's Mr. Scratch, right? Alters uh, Alan's dark presence, um, like, evil version. Miss Wake has not been sleeping out of the fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on through the night result in the relevant hallway's bolt, light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the redacted, the dark presence, right? Further investigation required, we propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of supply request form L501-4 have been sent to Mr. Kirklund and administration for approval. So we do know from Alan Wake 2, right, which we played together, that uh, the FBC did end up installing monitoring equipment in uh, the Wake's apartment in New York, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> A voice is given out. You learned that you can solve division by using multiplication. So basically the dividend becomes the product and the product becomes the dividend. And the divisor is the minus end, but I forgot. God, dude, math is not my strong suit. I will tell you that right now. All right, hold on. Let's regather our energy here. And then, fuck, I don't know where we're going here, but it's in complete darkness. Okay. There's a power core here that we have to take over there, possibly, to put another light. Let's see what this is. What is this? A recording. Okay. We'll play that while this guy's behind us. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. <clears throat> I've been live an hour and 20 minutes. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Safis. Good to have you. Okay. 
indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone. I anticipate that it's a similar return. He followed the cause of the father of some His raw talent and determination are undeniable. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark lakes within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Even my absolute awareness <laughs> within my that guy's gonna die. I believe myself much more prepared than either top or lake. Man, Dr. Hartman is so fucking egotistical and, and sure of himself. All that remains is the dive itself. It frightens me, I admit, but such is the burden of the truth. I plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. It's time for a break. This fucking idiot. So Hartman willingly went into Cauldron Lake, crossed the threshold into the Dark Presence's dimension himself, just because he was like, I'm curious and I think I'm prepared to do this. What a fucking idiot, dude. This guy couldn't be any stupider. Like, for real. <clears throat> All right, there's another power core that goes over there. Bright Falls 1976 summary. We also just got confirmation from that note, which I don't know that it was ever explicitly stated until that until that audio recording right there, that Thomas Zane, right, who is theorized or believed to be another incarnation or another parallel dimensions version of Alan or another version of Alan, like maybe Thomas Zane was a pair utilitarian because he was technically, I believe, born before Alan or came before Alan. And then he had like a similar ability and then either him or Alan wrote the other one into existence or something somehow. But anyway, we had confirmation that Thomas Zane went into Cauldron Lake. So we knew that he was kind of taken over or that he went into the Dark Presence's dimension, but we never were told like that he actually crossed the threshold at Cauldron Lake that way and not that something else happened. But Dr. Hartman's audio recording there just told us he, he went into the lake, so. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Bright Falls, AWE-10. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake, Washington. The citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southwestern fields for the annual festival known as Deer Fest. Eyewitnesses all claim that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of the area's weather reports. But then, with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of the Anderson Farm, and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. It was as if the day had turned to night. Testimony from Redacted. Frank Breaker, the sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a bureau agent, see employee file Redacted, managed to guide the crowd to safety as the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood. The festival was canceled, ending one day early. Lack of official bureau presence on the scene makes this event difficult to report as a confirmed AWE, though the similarity to other known events in the Bright Falls area lend credence to the accounts of the town people. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba. He willingly dived in. I know. I don't, why would anybody do shit like that, dude? I don't get it, man. All right. We're going to end up having to fight this guy here. Oh, the thing I need is over there. Oh, fuck. Oh, I like that Hartman is backing away from my ranger, dude. Kick his ass, brother. Fucking get him, dude. Fucking get him, bro. Okay, so here's my theory. We're gonna turn on a bunch of lights in this area, and then we're gonna actually have to fight uh, Hartman, right? Get the power on. Okay, I've plugged in everything. Where do I go to get the power on now? I can't go back up there. Am I supposed to go up there? I think so, maybe. Can't go there. All right, we'll see here, hold on. We gotta let our powers recharge again. No, I can't get in here. Am I 
I supposed to be up here? My powers are going to be completely gone, though. I don't see another place. Do you guys? Chat, do you guys see another place to go to install lights or anything? He doesn't want the ranger smoke. I know. I'm so proud of my ranger. He's getting a promotion. Since I'm the director, I'm promoting his ass after this, dude. That guy's getting a fucking promotion. He's doing a bang-up job. Yeah, it is very smoky. I know. I can't see anything either. I don't see any other power cores. Hartman can't get me up here, by the way. So, the only problem is my energy bar is completely drained because I'm in the darkness, right? Turn the power back on. Yeah, I, I would fucking love to. Where do I do that at, though, game? All right, here's the deal. Oh! Listen. Listen. See, what ha happened was... I jumped down, but I didn't think about the fact that I had no energy and I pressed levitate, but I either pressed it too late or because I had no energy, it didn't work. Um, so that's what happened. We're going to pretend like it didn't happen. Uh, did I increase my death count? I don't think I did. There we go. Six. All right. I was doing so good too, dude. I was doing so good. Don't I need to call a ranger? Yeah, so that's a thing that happened. <laughs> Director Faden here. Send back up to my location. What is this? Oh, is this a... Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't want to go right there. Okay. Uh, We need to get here quickly. I think I've already got this, but I'm going to play it anyway. Okay, where was the... Uh... Oh, we already have them installed because we already did it. So we just need to find... We need to find where we turn the power on. Is this the power over here? No, I can't see anything there. Is that a reflection? Bro, I don't know where to go. Thank you, dude. I appreciate your service. Uh, membership levels? Yeah, Misty, you're right. The lowest level is $2.99 a month. You can cancel at any time, uh, but it's $2.99 a month for the lowest. Then the mid is $9.99, and then the top is $19.99, I think. But I do an extra edited video for the top, which I'm behind on. So, so or not edited, unedited. I do an unedited video for the top every month, and a shout out for the mid and the top. I gotta, I gotta. I'm, one of my goals next week is to get the uh, March and April unedited videos out, which shouldn't be too hard, but I got to do that ASAP next week. This whole six pieces of content a week has been amazing and awesome, but it's been kicking my boot. It's been kicking my butt. Where do I go, dude? Like, for real. Okay, the last place that we plugged in was this, right? Quick, now! It looks like that goes here. Turn the power on right here. All right, we're gonna have to fight him. Yep, defeat Hartman, I knew it. All right, it's time to kick his ass. Finally. You are pretty rough on the Fuck you, bitch. What the fuck was that? What the fuck did he just do? All right, here's the problem. I'm gonna crush this guy because I am super powered. I have basically every upgrade in the game. I have all the weapons upgraded. I'm gonna tank this dude. He's also in the light. <laughs> Holy shit, he's fast though. Holy shit, he's fast when he wants to be, dude. I also have Pierce fucking pimped out, man. Fuck you. He's not dead? Oh no. Oh no. He had a trick up his sleeve. I 
did not expect that. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, oh no, I gotta get, where's the, where's the thing for this? Yeah, dude. Hartman I killed Hartman. Be a problem anymore, Langston. But investigations need someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. <laughs> ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here. An AWE alert from Bright <gasps> Falls, Washington. Saying that the beginning be is happening the for Alan Wake too. A couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring yep. the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. we've played Alan Wake 2 together right and if you see if you saw me play Alan Wake 2 you know that setup right there basically dude I wish I'd played control when it came out because if you played control when it came out and you played this DLC in 2020 the end of that DLC just told you Alan Wake 2 is happening right and Alan Wake 2 didn't come out until 2023 and it said that AWE event was several years in the future right that is so fucking dope I if I had played this in 2020, having played Alan Wake and then this and played this DLC, I would have just lost my fucking mind right there. I would have lost my mind. You guys would have seen, I would have like jumped out of my seat. I would have just fucking lost it. I, I hate, okay. I hate that I didn't play this game when it first came out and have that experience. Cause that experience would have been so cool. Cause I think, I don't think that they announced Alan Wake 2 probably until this because I don't remember them announcing it pre-2020 so I would have flipped my fucking shit because the first Alan Wake came out in 2010 and this would have been 2020 there would have been a 10 year gap until they announced the second game it would have been so goddamn awesome it would have been so awesome and Agent Estevez by the way is the Federal Bureau of Control agent that we encounter and interact with the most in Alan Wake 2, right? It would have been so... Oh, dude, oh, that ending is really cool. Having played Alan Wake 2, it's still very cool. That was awesome. All right. All right, we got to look. We got some side missions to mop up, right? We got a few things to do here. And then depending on how long that takes, uh, I, had, I had something else planned. I don't know if you guys will like it or not, but I was going to stream at least until like 12, 30, 1 o'clock. So we'll see, but uh, we got to figure out that we should maybe clean up these um, fine mess things, though, first. Uh, let's make sure there's no other collectibles in here, though. I enjoyed this game for right now, too, right? I mean, that is still a really cool ending right there. We took care of Hartman. Control 2 is going to be a thing as well. We talked about that. I can't wait till that comes out, but it is several years away. At minimum. They announced it, I think, last year. And said that it was three to five years away. But we're definitely going to do that together when it comes out. All right. I knew there was more lore here. 
wake photograph. What is this? Oh my God. Evidence ID photograph of Alan Wake provided by Alice Wake taken on redacted 2017. So this is her taking a photograph of the Alan that she said was haunting her, right? So I think this is technically Mr. Scratch or him yelling from the other place. So, hey, take care, JJ Frost. Thanks for joining and supporting while you could. Appreciate it. What else do we have? Wake evidence. Okay. Uh, admission of evidence. A photograph of Alan Wake captured by Alice Wake during an event in her home. Alice Wake, former wife of Alan Wake, has recently been visited at night by her ex-husband or entity resembling him. See file redacted for more. Mr. Scratch file probably, right? Being a professional photographer, Miss Wake positioned cameras with motion sensors around the corridor he appears in and managed to capture an image of Mr. Wake on film. It's a terrifying photograph, dude. During an interview with Miss Wake, she mentioned that her favorite camera, a redacted model, was lost in 2010 during AWE 35. No match has been found among the confiscated evidence from AWE 35. It has been filed as a potential altered item, and research staff stationed at Bright Falls are being contacted to check if they have any knowledge of such item. Dope. So the AWE created an altered camera that was Alice's. All right. I think we've got everything in here. We just need to get back up there. Well, Matt, nope, this nope. Must be I lied. They studied Hartman. Oh, this was his cell. Kind of looks like Dylan's cell. It does I look like if Dylan's. They treated him as badly. It does look like Dylan's cell. Uh, Bright Falls 1976 AWE 10 supplement. On the day of flooding, the rock band Old Gods of Asgard was rehearsing in a field outside the Anderson farm, the homestead of band members Odin and Tor Anderson, both admitted to being in a heavy state of inebriation at the time, having spent days drinking their home-brewed moonshine while celebrating Deerfest. After the townspeople were evacuated from the flooded field, Sheriff Breaker was asked by Freya Anderson, daughter of Tor Anderson, to check on her father and uncle. Breaker drove to the Anderson farm and found the band members alive, but in need of medical aid. Tor Anderson had been struck by lightning and Odin Anderson had cut out his own right eye. A possible reference to Norse deities, deities redacted and redacted. Uh, Thor and Odin, right? They claimed they had fought and valiantly defeated a dark army of the scratching hag rising from Cauldron Lake. See Altered World Event Redacted of 1970 related to the suspected redacted at Divers Isle. While impossible to verify, these events are relevant to the recurring AWE at Bright Falls and the Cauldron Lake Redacted. Odin and Tor Anderson have been listed at, listed as persons of interest. You know, I'm really curious as to why Bright Falls and that area, Cauldron Lake, has had so many altered world events it's the only place in the alan wake games that i'm aware of that has had at least three to five altered world events if i'm counting right one in 1970 one in 76 one in alan wake one and one in alan wake two that's four total that we have confirmation of i don't know that anywhere else in the lore of the games is there another location or area that's had that many which is strange because I know Cauldron Lake is a threshold into a parallel dimension or another dimension, but there are other areas and places that are thresholds and they don't seem to have as many um, altered world events. So I wonder if it's because of what dimension it's going to and the darkness trying to break through or what? I don't know. It's really interesting. So it's a place of power, a ley line, a center. That could be it. Yeah. Yeah, that could be it could be an overlap but wouldn't there be multiple of those places maybe that's just maybe that's other the other places like it will be explored in further games i don't know so it's very interesting though oh no get the fuck out of here nope i want to finish my side quest i'm not dealing with you bitches nope not today son oh wait we better check while we're here that's just the elevator. We can see more up here. Get away from me. Leave me alone. Hey. Oh, I need one more ability point to do ground slam all the way. God damn it. Uh, and we don't need to do anything there. Board countermeasures? Are we... Yeah, kill his snipers. Okay. Uh, we need to go to the Eagle Limited AWE to finish that one. There we go. So many redacted, I know, right? <laughs> the cool thing about the Alan Wake game, the first one and the second one have some very scary parts, but they're not 
as in your face horror wise as like a, a true strictly horror game right you get a break now and then freya anderson by the way in that last note that was mentioned she is um she is the mother of uh saga anderson the main character right and tor and odin are family as well um but she is the mother of saga who's the other main character in alan wake too right Great addition, by the way, from the devs. All right, there's a light in there. So here's the question. How do we get in there? Is that elevator right there? I believe so. Lethal Company was as spoopy as it gets for you. Lethal Company can be downright scary, depending on what mods you install and stuff can be pretty can be pretty there's some mods that really that igp and i haven't done with dre yet though that make it even more terrifying the eagle limited awe-44 the bureau has gathered concrete evidence that the train derailment was in fact the work of the paracriminal group known as the blessed organization right which according to the bureau's intel has shown a concerning interest in experimenting with the artificial manufacturing of altered items Knowing the group largely operates in the American Midwest, the Bureau worked alongside the FBI to ascertain their movements and rendezvous locations. This cooperation provided agents with information that led to an arrest in conjunction with the AWE case. Under suspicion of involvement, Redacted was brought in for questioning. An interrogation performed by Agent Redacted resulted in the suspect being kept in a holding cell for two days without food. In breach of the Prayer Criminal Rights Act, afterwards the suspect confessed to his involvement in the Redacted group and provided information on other members in exchange for his freedom. That's fucked up. They tortured him. Yeah, although he was a bad person. So, all right, we're looking for darkness. Chat, you get backseat game for this. You can help out. Uh, tell me if you see blobs of black darkness hiding somewhere that we need to use the light to get rid of. If you see it, let me know. Okay. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for blobs of darkness to, to get rid of. All right. You can also kind of hear it sometimes, too. Not always, but sometimes. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Oh, no. I need the light. God damn it. Is it because I'm too far away from that thing that that didn't hurt it that much? Did that not hurt it? It did. All right, you know what? I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come steal you. Yep. Oh, dude, I love taking. I love taking control of these things because then they heal you, right? It's great. I see the darkness up here. I knew I heard. Some Fuck! I need that light though. Stop getting shit that you don't need. There you go. Good shit. All right, I figured it would be up here in corners and shit. We just gotta find the rest. There's a light all the way up there. Is there supposed to be a light up there? Maybe the darkness is in the corner. We need one more, I think. Could be wrong on that. Get all the way up, dude. Oh, there might be... Oh, they might be sneaky. Is there darkness, like, all the way up here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, dude. Like, is there darkness in that corner right there that I can't see? We are, like, <laughs> we're at the top of the fucking thing now. You guys see darkness? We must banish it all. Hey, the solar eclipse is happening tomorrow. Is anybody excited about that? I'm excited about it. Unfortunately, I really like space stuff. If it's not obvious by my channel art and like kind of me talking about it a lot. I like space shit though. I'm really excited about it. Unfortunately, I just didn't have time because my kid's birthday was this week and we had the party last uh, yesterday and shit. I didn't have time to, to 
get uh i could have just ordered them on amazon i know but i was a little leery of that because people are producing fake glasses um and you can have you know you can go blind or have permanent eye damage if you don't wear proper protection to watch it but um i uh so i don't have glasses I can't, i'm not gonna be able to look at it directly but i'm excited for all the coverage and all the like science articles and shit that have come out of it um I just love stuff like this and it's a really cool it's really cool to like they, they don't happen all the time that you, you can always see them where you live right so i'm dead fuck dude gotta find the darkness in here you're super stoked yeah definitely though safety warning right please please be safe do not stare directly at it even for a second or two because i read that even if it like it doesn't hurt when you're getting the eye damage like if you were to look directly at it and get permanent eye damage it doesn't hurt but what you're doing is essentially burning your corneas and your pup pupils and you may not even notice the eye damage right away it can take a day or two for it to happen it's like getting a bad sunburn on your eyes and the damage is permanent there's no fix for it so make sure that you have validated if you're going to look at it that you have proper eye protection that is properly rated for it don't, don't sacrifice your eyesight just to see it so please 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 Too. it's very easy to uh to accidentally do it too so just be careful if you go outside and look at it and you can you can look this up do it from a reputable news source but there's a certain type of rating for glasses that are acceptable for viewing solar um eclipses and stuff um and they're much darker than regular sunglasses um and everything and you need to make sure you have that proper rating and that's from a reputable verified company um so that you know you're not permanently damaging your eyesight such a cool event though so cool you're excited for your boys to see it we haven't had an eclipse of this magnitude since i was at same i remember the one in elementary school our our school was cool enough to get everybody proper glasses and we got to see it and it was so fucking cool i'm kind of disappointed in myself that i didn't go pure procure uh glasses in time my kid's gonna get to see a little bit of it at school the peak of totality for him where we live is not gonna happen while he's in school but it'll be it'll be like i think like 60 or 75 percent eclipsed um for him when he's in school and i think the the school is getting glasses and gonna take everybody out so that'll be cool i'm, I'm excited that he gets to experience it it's such a cool event we were he and i were talking about it today and i was ex i was uh, ex trying to explain to him in proper six-year-old terms what it was and like the science behind it of course i looked it up right i was i was using google <laughs> and proper sources to explain it because i'm not the <laughs> i'm not a fucking expert so all right does anybody see this final darkness that we need we need one more darkness in here help me find it chat donde esta 
when solar eclipses happen uh we can't firebend anymore <laughs> hell yeah dude an avatar reference i fucking love it you know i watched the uh, avatar live action series on netflix it wasn't as bad as uh i was worried it was gonna be and it wasn't as bad as I feel like I saw some people saying. It was okay. It wasn't as good as the, uh, you know, the cartoon, the original. But uh, what it did do is it made me want to go back and watch the original cartoon. So I've been, uh, I have it on Blu-ray. So I've been slowly, like, watching an episode or two here or there. Such a good show, dude. I also like The Legend of Korra. The Legend of Korra wasn't as good as the last uh, Avatar, or, right? The last avatar, right? Is that what it's called? Or the last airbender? Why am I blanking now on the name? <laughs> Why am I stupid? I've seen that show like 20 times. Uh, anyway, I've been rewatching it some. It's still, it holds up in my opinion. And it's still good. All right, it has to be in here. The last darkness has to be in here somewhere. I guess we just gotta go like little area by little area. Is this part of the Eagle AWE? It is. So maybe it's somewhere over here. We see it up there. Avatar the Last Airbender. That's what it is. Thank you. I don't know why I just had a I had a senior moment there. Couldn't remember Jack Squat. It's embarrassing for a show that I claimed to really like, huh? I couldn't even get the goddamn name right. Hmm. Anyway, good show. I think I feel like it's one of those shows that um, you could use as an example to people of saying that cartoons aren't just made for kids sometimes, you know, like obviously it's a show that can be for kids of certain ages and, uh, you know, it's more targeted toward kids, but it still has, you know, especially in later seasons and the further you get into it, it still has plenty of adult themes and plenty of things in it, I feel like, that uh, adults can enjoy, right? It auto plays on your Netflix all the time. Hell yeah. It's a good show. Does anybody that see the like darkness? An old CZ10 Vista Dome. Where? Dylan used to have a book on trains. I'd read with him. Oh, she's talking about I the a few like this later. She's talking about the train. Usually without a ticket. Where is the Oh, I found it. <laughs> Done. Hell yeah, yeah dude. Happy. You're welcome. Hell fucking yeah. Did I not get an ability point for that? Thanks for subscribing, Insomnia Gaming. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. All right. We got uh, mold to clear in one area. No, they made my boy uh, complaining baby and Sokka a weirdo who complains and can't fight. I know, they kind of did Sokka, they kind of did Sokka dirty a little bit. And I will be honest, the main actor who played, I feel bad saying this because he's a kid, right? I feel like the actor who played uh, Avatar, who played Aang, he wasn't, he wasn't that great. I got to be honest. I didn't feel like he was that great. He felt kind of flat emotionally a lot to me. Um, and he just didn't have that same like... He didn't have, you know how like Aang in the cartoon is like, he goes from being like super serious and all worried about his responsibility as Avatar and like, you know, the weight of what's on his shoulders to being this happy-go-lucky free kid who's like playing with children in villages and doing like silly stupid shit. Like that bouncing back and forth that feels very childlike and is very well done in the, in the cartoon. That is tr they try to portray it in the live action series but it doesn't it doesn't come across well in my opinion so unfortunately um but yeah loading bay vents okay we gotta go here and find the mold so hey what's up paulo and what's up miss paulo welcome to the stream thanks for joining good to have you I asked my wife what the most adult theme or thing that happened on The Last Airbender, and without missing a bear, she said genocide. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of heavy stuff in The Last Airbender. A lot. A lot of... Even, even some of the, like, side stories, right? For, like, things that aren't, like, a continuing theme or whatever, which genocide is kind of a continuing theme across the, across the show, right? Especially with what the Fire Nation is doing. 
right? Um, and their like conquest of, of that world. Uh, but there is fucking, we gotta find a way down into the loading bay vents and I don't remember exactly how to get there. Um, but even some of the like one-off episode side stories and stuff, there's some pretty dark shit in that show. So, hey, welcome back, Trident. Good to have you. <laughs> What's up, Josh G? Is this like the third time I've said hi to you? Don't I normally say hi to you like 5,000 times? You know, one of the really dark things is that where they go, the whole storyline about the uh, spiritual world and the real world and the crossovers and what's happening in the spiritual world or what did happen, like that whole event. And there's that one, av that one past avatar who like spent most of his avatar time in the spirit world trying to fix things. That whole storyline is pretty fucking, that's pretty fucking hardcore. Would make a great horror game too. So. All right, we're looking for mold. We're looking for mold guys. That's what we're here for. We need to find a mold area and eradicate it. And it's going to be in here. Fuck him. It's got to be in here because we didn't go this way before. Yeah, I see. I see the things over there. Okay, before we do that, just make sure there's nothing over here. You have an important question that you probably would never answer. So can you please answer? What's the question? You got to ask your question. They messed up trying to smush all book one into eight episodes and they took out all the important and uh, story driving content. They did. They did. I agree with you. You know, one of the best characters, though, in that show, I will say too, Uncle Iroh. Um, I, I didn't feel like that performance was good in the show either, which was really disappointing because uh, he's like one of the best characters in the show, right? Um, Uh, fuck. What was I going to say, though? I had another point I was going to make about the show. Anyway, it was cool to see some of the stuff in live action and it not be as terrible as that, like, just movie that they made that we don't even want to talk about. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't what I had hoped for. But I kind of didn't hope for that much. So... See, no mold spore circulation. Hey. hey! Might get a bit stuffy in here. We're probably gonna get our ability points. Wait, we should go back in here and make sure. We beat, I beat Hartman already. I beat the main story, Leon. I beat the main story missions for the game already. For the DLC, I mean. I've beaten them for the game as well, but y you know, you know. Is that all that's in here? Okay. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. I gotta get out of here. Did I miss the question? Did the question get asked? Okay. All right. We have two more missions, I think. Light all the plants. Okay. So we need to go to abandoned offices, operations corridor, and then the loading bay. We'll probably do the loading bay first. Fuck you, bitch. Which way to... This way. It was so much better than a movie. And it wasn't... I wouldn't call it bad. I just wouldn't call it anywhere near as good as the original show. And it also wasn't... It, I don't know. In that context, it wasn't good, I guess I would say. But it wasn't terrible. It was still... I still had fun watching it. Okay. Need a fast... Oh, the loading bay is right here. Okay, there are plants here that we have to nourish with light. Well, we need to find a light again. 
another one up here. There's probably plants in these areas, right? There's got to be a light in here somewhere. To use. There's a, there's a plants in the loading bay here? I don't even see a single plant yet. We also got to finish that that gerbil quest which i don't know where the where the fuck that's gonna be at oh, are there plants inside are there plants inside the mobile is there a light inside one of these maybe oh, wait a bat a basketball maybe this will do the trick all right let's go give that guy the basketball and see what he says Wait, right here. Ping pong ahead. Yes. That no, wasn't that wasn't what he good. wanted. Huh. All right, let's go check the other mobile lab again then. Hey, take care, Hannah. Thanks for joining. What do I think of Korra? Was that your question, Trident? I like the Legend of Korra. I thought, it, again, I thought, um, ooh, I missed stuff in here. This might do it. Okay. I thought uh, Maybe. it wasn't as good as uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender, but it was still it was still good. I liked revisiting that universe. Fra Maru summary: AWE-7, a paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Fra Maru highlands of the Moon. 32 hours after the return of the Apollo 14 command module to Earth. The Bureau was contacted by Mr. Redacted, a White House senior official, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note, an altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Redacted called to clarify the matter, though tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. God damn. So they had to fight NASA security. Hold on. Hey, what's up, Arrow? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I beat the main mission. I'm just uh, the main DLC. So we're essentially fairly done with the game. I'm just cleaning up some side quests here. Uh, I got another thing to take to the, the gerbil head guy, whatever you want to call this. <clears throat> Lady, you are school and dirt for losing. Keep the fuck that does that mean? I won't help you anymore. All right, so I still have something else to find for him, I guess. I still have something else to find for him. Most of it has been in these, in these, in these rooms. So, yep, yeah, here's another thing. Let's see if this will do. Some it. kind of toy dinosaur. I'm ready to be done with this. All right, this must be the last thing, right? Cora Zicky, the love triangle was interesting. Uh, I thought it was fine. Clocks, lady. The Your love trial is a little head, weird, but head, I like the show head. overall. No snacks. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, you top. prisoner fuck. Wait, does this thing actually mean head? Head is in a body's head? Where the fuck am I gonna get that? Where the hell am I gonna find that? <laughs> That's exactly what Jesse said. <laughs> How did it lose it? <clears throat> Do I know where to get the head? Yeah, where where do I get the head? It's not gonna pop up in one of these, is it? There's no way. No, it's gonna be somewhere else in the game. We have to find a head somewhere. I might have to look that that up. All right, where are the goddamn plants? Are they up top? Is there a light up here I could use? The top head, Skilly. How hard is that to understand? Yeah. <laughs> this guy. I love the name for that mission too. It's like the top of the gerbil. What is it again? Hold on. Uh, gerbil took the top of the head. Whatever the fuck that means, right? Ah, oh, this doesn't count as the loading bay, but I need a light. And does this count as the loading bay? It does not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, is there a light here? Yeah. 
All right, we need to find fucking plants to nourish in this in this area. Who the fuck knows where they're going to be? Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. You like the special bending in Korra, which was like, oh, talk about dark. OK, we were talking about super dark things in um, the, the show, even though it was a cartoon, right? One of the darkest things in that was you guys remember the episode in the original Last Airbender where uh, um, what's her face? God, what's her name again? Why did I forget her name? The waterbending uh, main character. What's her name again? Why did I forget her name? Anyway, she learned bloodbending. Remember that waterbenders can it's like it's like a really hard technique, people, but bloodbending and then she fought that old woman right who who like had mastered bloodbending and was using it for fucked up shit that is dark that waterbenders can bloodbend that is fucking katara that's what it is god damn it how did i forget katara's name dude somebody somebody need i i like i swear i have a brain tumor i swear doesn't make any sense why i forget it's stuff about Hama, yeah, is that how you say her name? Yeah, invented bloodbending. Yeah, that whole that episode was dark. Well, I mean, bloodbend is really cool, right? That's a really interesting, uh, like, it makes sense, right? Because humans are seventy percent water. Is that what it is? And there's a lot of water in your blood, so it makes sense that if you can water bend and you're powerful enough, you would be able to bend the water in somebody's body and in their blood and and like hurt them, right? Like. Canonically, it makes sense, but it's not something you ever think about until that particular episode. And then it's like, oh my fucking God. You could be like a truly evil son of a bitch and use that. Oh. All right. I think there might be plants up top here, which is why I'm trying to get up here with the light. Toph's metal bending is pretty cool too. Metal bending is really cool. Blood bending, though, that fight too between Katara and Hama there um, is something else. Yeah, and the metal bending is is neat. Yeah. Blood bending your villain arc. Okay, where the fuck are the plant? Oh, we're not even in the. Hold on, I'm stupid. I'm looking in this place, and there isn't even. This isn't even where it's supposed to be. Amon took that to a whole nother level in Korra. Yeah, he did. That's why... Hey, what's up, Drac Ice, by the way? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. That's why I like Korra. I know it's a little divisive, and there's a lot of Avatar fans who don't like Kor uh, The Legend of Korra. Um, but I liked it. I liked it for stuff like that, where they built on the original. So... You like the extreme curve on my hat? <laughs> it came pre-curved. It's not something that I did, but yeah. All right, where am I going then? The loading bay, there are plants in here. Ah, oh, hiss nodes, I do need to do that. All right, hold on. I don't think the light will be there, but I need to do this bureau alert for an achievement. Hiss nodes, I can't fail at this. We've been trying to do this forever. Hold on, where's the fucking... This is just get in and shoot a bunch of nodes, right? It's in the foundation, it's in the cave system. Right here, cave bridge. <clears throat> he technically didn't remove bending, he blocked the chi flow that allows for bending, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything like that in Star Wars, but I think it would be a cool idea in Star Wars to have, like, a character who is used to having the Force have their ability removed, not by their own choice, right? Luke does it in The Last Jedi, right? To himself, though, essentially. He cuts himself off. But I'm talking, like, kind of like Amon, right? Like... Not willingly having your uh, your your ability cut off. Fuck, dude. God damn it! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna fail another fucking bureau alert. 
I'm gonna go kill this guy. Is he alive? No, he's gone. He's got to be gone. All right, we need another hiss. No, he's like, what? Dude, how the fuck is he alive? hiss node is it up is it fucking up oh no i did all the nodes i just have to eliminate the reinforcements okay got him hell yeah dude all right achievement done for that we can go back to wherever the control point is Oh, it's up there. Fuck me, dude. All right, I got to stack boxes again. Uh, they were born as mods. Uh, whenever I need moderators, I put out an application and then I like kind of interview people or talk with them to see if I think they would be a good fit. I'm all good on mods right now, though. So if I ever need them again, I'll open up one. And I also tried to choose people who were active in the community and had been, uh, good. Maybe I can use this cart to stack here. No! No! It turned over. All right. All right. We gotta get a good base. God damn it, that's not gonna stay upright. Oh, this box is breaking apart. We're gonna try to stack it anyway. Back up just a little. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't tip that one off, dude. No! I didn't mean to throw it! All right, fuck this. We're gonna go find another. I think if I run back this way, there'll be one. Your mother's were mods before you. <laughs> I haven't been around that long. If I am around that long eventually, though, you could be. I can't believe I just did that. I'm just going to run back to this one over here. There's one back this way a little bit further. Yep. Ah, it wasn't even that far. I shouldn't have been stacking anyway. Hey, take care, GDSK09. Thanks for joining and supporting while you could. Uh, I still need one more ability point. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Hold up, hold up. Missions. Light the plants. All right. Base travel. Base travel. Uh, the loading bay, right? It wants us to go back there. Isn't there a specific? There is. I need training on the force again. Uh, hey, Martina did a ten dollar um super chat that I missed. Martina, I'm so I'm so sorry. Uh, Martina said, Skilly, I found you because of IGP. Stayed because of you. Love your compassion, humor, and empathy. Keep it up. Martina, I hope you're still here. You're a, a legend and a rock star. Thank you so much. I can't believe I missed that. I know I missed that. I didn't mean to. Director Faden here. 
I need a ranger dispatched to my position. I did that before, though. I remember, guys. I stacked, I stacked stuff on that before and got up to that control point before. So... I'm looking, is there a light over here somewhere that I can use? No. Well, there's gotta be one in the loading bay here somewhere. Yep, right here. All right. There's a light, there's a plant down here. There has to be. In this little office area, there's gotta be a plant that needs some, no yep, I knew it. There we go. All right, we need two more. Chat, you can help out. If you see the plant, if you see a dead plant, call it out. Or you see what you think is a plant, call it out. I think there's ones on the walkways. I see one over there. Come on, little plant. I never finished Naruto. No, I, I know a lot about Naruto just because I had a lot of friends who were really into it and I heard them talking about stuff. I won't say that if you've watched it, you have way more knowledge than me, but I've, I've heard more than I've heard about or seen clips of or know about more than I've watched, but I've probably only seen like, I think I've seen the entire first season. So I know I've missed a lot. I know. Oh no. Oh no, it's one of those laser horse, uh, her, hearse? It's distorted. That was a boss that I had a shit ton of trouble with. You guys remember? It's been so long since we fought that thing and we've never had to fight another one before. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that. All right, I'm looking for dead plants, you fucks. I ain't got time to deal with this. There you go. All right. Oh, I need the light. Please just pick up the goddamn light. Okay, thank you. Oh, another dead plant. Is this it? What do you think of that Japan bomb movie? What, you're talking about Oppenheimer? I mean, the fact that atomic weapons were used is a tragedy. We could debate all day about whether it was necessary or not. So we don't have to get into that. But the movie itself is good. I mean, the movie chronicling a historic event I love Christopher Nolan's movies. IGP and I actually got together. I talked about this on stream and went and saw it together. It's a really good movie. It's shot very well. Great cinematography, fantastic sound design and audio. My God, when the bomb actually goes off, the way they handle the audio is so good. Fantastic acting, great movie. I don't know if I would have released it in Japan though. I gotta be honest. I don't know. I think if I was the studio or whatever, I think I just would have, I just, it's i don't know that's a tough one you know so all right there why is there a light setting there i need to find another plant thanks for subscribe Ooh, what what is this scream name? All right. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, Dip Poop. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes the screen names, guys. <laughs> Where do you guys come up with this stuff? I need another flower, dude. I need another fucking flower. Oh, there's a thing here. means dip poop if you're here on stream you gotta explain your username like what is it what does it mean 
Does that count down there as the loading bay? I don't know. I think it counts. Oh, I finished the loading bay and I'm still looking for plants like a dumbass. All right. Never mind. I got all the plants here. I got all three. So now we just need to go back to the control point and go to another spot. I'll get it together, chat. I promise. All right. Dave, not the one. Yours is a Babylon 5 reference. I haven't seen Babylon 5. I've heard good stuff. I never got to see it, though. I like sci-fi and space shit, so I'm sure I would like it. But yeah, I have not seen it. So. Nine Inch Colas, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Yours is pretty good, Nine Inch Colas. <laughs> Dip poop is better than yours. All right. This place we have had trouble finding. We need one plant. Same thing, chat. You can help out. If you see La Plant in trouble, please let your boy know. This goes into the abandoned offices, too, which we also have to find a plant in. I must. JMS is a genius. What is JMS? Is that like who created it or who wrote it or whatever? You see a plant. Where did you see a plant? Did I miss a plant? Am I, am I, am I blind? I might be blind. Where's the plant? Fuck, did I actually miss a plant? Just kidding. Okay, god damn it. <laughs> All right. All right, I don't want to do the offices yet. I want to finish, I want to finish the operations corridor here. Did Cowboy Bebop play a part in your interest in space? I think a little bit. I've just always been fascinated by space. In school, whenever we would do in like science class or stuff, whenever we would have the space units or I really liked physics. I took two physics courses as electives and in, in, I'm really, I'm not the smartest. So physics was hard for me, but I wanted to take two physics courses because physics is really important to our study of space, right? And our study of the universe. I took two physics courses, intro physics courses, like physics 101 and physics uh, 102 in, uh, at university in college um, as electives and they I had a great teacher for them and they were really fun but um, I think I probably was interested in watching Cowboy Bebop because I like space but Cowboy Bebop is a really cool uh, space piece of entertainment so all right this is still the operations corridor I think if we go through here like I I think this still counts or at least I think it counts until until getting out of this area, right? And then once we're through there, is this the operations center? Like there's no plants in here, so I think that's it. <clears throat> Night Shifter, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Oh, dude, Andor is so goddamn good. Andor might be one of the best Star Wars properties ever made. Like, no joke. All right, chat. Does anybody know where this last plant is? Does anybody see it? Is there a hiss distorted in here? There absolutely is. I'm going to take this over. All right. We're not going to chance that. You can just stay there. Does anybody know where the last plant is in the operations corridor here? Where are we? I see it. I can't believe I missed that for, for that long. Good shit. All right, control points right here. This is the last Ati mission too, so. Abandon offices. Uh, here we go. <laughs> That's a good summary, Misty. It's a good summary. Yeah, I don't think I could give a shorter slash better one than that. I would probably blabber on about it. I need a light. I need a light. Because we got to find that last plant, right? God, I forgot everything floats around weird here. Hey, bitch. 
Fuck you. Fuck you. All right, I think this technically counts this area, but we need to find a dead plant and we need to find a light to be able to uh to save it. It could be in the bathrooms, right? If we find it, we can just remember where it's at if we don't have the light. <clears throat> Not back there, is it? Nope. Oh, there's that room over here too that we never got into. Remember that? We might, we might try to. I think I might. I think we can maybe use surge. To, here's the light. All right, we're looking for a plant. If you see it, call it out, chat. Make sure we look in all the corners. This room we never got into, and I theorized that the plant was in there. So here's what I'm gonna do. What just hit me? A sniper? Ah, oh, fuck. Where's the control point? Is it this way? No, the control point is back. This I need to heal. No! 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 That fucker was camping the control point. What a piece of fucking shit, dude. Fucking asshole. God damn it. Hey, what's up, Roaches Racing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Was the plant in the corner? It might have been. Now I gotta find that goddamn light again. And I gotta try this again. All right, hold on. I think I remember where that light spawned, though. Fuck that guy. He's dead. <laughs> Got him. Is that everybody? Take control of you, you fucker. There we go. All right, go fight for me. Got him. All right, that was everybody. All right, now I was testing this theory. All right, does that not get me in the room? That doesn't get me in the room. Can I blow a hole in the wall? I didn't even think about this. You can use... Oh, dude. You can use fucking Surge to blow holes in walls. Here we go. Uh, I need to get rid of some stuff. No, no. Get rid of all the blues. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad we got that out of here. All right. Is that, is that, did I clear up? I did not clear up enough space. Holy fuck. Uh, do this by type, evade cost, seizing incoming damage after seizing an enemy, evade energy cost. We're going to keep that. Yeah, what game does this remind you of? If there's another game like it, I'd love to know what it is. I'd be down to play something similar at some point. We'll move on to something different after I'm done with this. Okay, I need the light and we need to find the last plant. So the light that I found last time was not this way. That's it was not that way. That's for sure. It was over here in this office up there and it's not there now. Fuck. Um, the dead plant's right there. It's in that hidden room. So you had to find... So we know where the dead plant is. I just need a light. I just gotta find the fucking light. Or was it in this office? Nope. God damn it, dude. Is there a light over here? 
Negative. I know where the plant is. I just need the light now. I might have to reload the control point because I blew everything up. But that means I'll have to fight again. And I'll have to blow... There was the light, like, right there. Which I guess is the hint that you can blow that wall. Didn't I throw the light in here? Or something? No? Damn it, dude. Yeah, I see the plant. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Renzo? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good day. Oh, Returnal. Yeah, Returnal. Uh, I have that, actually. It was really hard. This, I started, I did a video on it. Uh, look up Skilly McPhilly Returnal. I did one video on it. Edited video. It's embarrassing because it's back near the start of me starting to make content. So it's not the best. But, uh... <laughs> I did a video on it. It was really hard. I could not... I got hard stuck in that game. I was uh, I was not very good at it. Yeah, there's blood here. Hidden room? No. Okay. Damn it. I need a fucking light. Is there a light over here? Yes. All right. Thank God. I was like, where the hell is a light? Welcome, Rob. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. I thought I saw you throw that. I thought I threw it in the secret room, too. I'm right there with you, dude, but I guess I didn't. I did. Uh, I might have broken it or something or thrown it into oblivion. Here we go, though. Here's some sunshine to brighten your day. It's artificial. Though. Ooh. Hmm. How does that work? And that's the last one. So I think we just got some really good shit for doing that. Yes. Shot charge time minus 100 for bla for charge blast boost. Oh my Exc wait, exclusive to Pierce? Oh my god. All right, hold on. Uh we'll take off oh, dude. All right, we'll take that off. It's one of the special mods. It's one of the yellow mods. Holy crap. Shot charge time mine. All right, hold on. Pierce is my favorite gun. Supervisor. Oh my god. You can fire it so quick now. Holy shit. And we got another one. We got um is it a personal one? No. It, it maybe it was and it just wasn't yellow. Yeah, it just wasn't yellow. So hold on a sec now. We have I have a special yellow mod for three of the six weapon forms. I bet you there's a special yellow mod that pertains to each one. You just got to do different stuff. Interesting. All right. Well, I, we got to finish this side quest. We have a thing to read, though. Oh, a Heidi's postcard. Greetings from Watery, Washington, America's Little Finland. There's Ati. Uh, Tatas, a crazy person works hard and a wise person gets away with less. Happy vacation to me, Ati. Ati finally got his vacation. Hell yeah, he's got a beer in his hand. Fuck yeah, dude. That's, can I, can we, that's so cool. That's so cool. All right, we completed all of Ati's quest. Gerbil head? Sector office is where, we, it actually tells us where we need to go. Okay, good. Well, let me go here. I'm glad that we don't just have to wander around this whole place to find the, uh, wait, wait, wait. Is it this way for this? To find the head thing that it's talking about. Hey! We finished Ground Slam. So I have, the only thing I haven't done is this, which I think you can upgrade. I think you can get all the upgrades if you find all the hidden locations in the game. Because there's a bunch in the base game and there's a bunch in each DLC. And you get an ability point every time you find them, right? So we are three, six, nine, uh, four would be 13, 17 ability points away. So there's a lot of hidden locations, which hidden locations just have like usually some items, right? And sometimes, not always, they have lore. Let's see if we can find a good... Surge maneuvers? Uh, nah. Spin maneuvers? No. We need something that we can do in any sector. Pierce maneuvers. There we go. Alright, let's fast travel to the sector head office. 
Where is that at? There we go. Sealed fire break. Night Shifter said, I looked at the Returnal video. I'm sure it's safe to assume that's not going to continue based on those numbers. Well, those numbers, my channel was much smaller back then. So that's why the view count is like probably sub 500 views on that video. Um, so that video did okay for me. It didn't do great. It didn't do bad at the time. Uh, but no, I don't plan on returning to it. Uh, another reason is too, I hate to say this, but I just sucked at that game. I was really bad because it's like a bullet hell um, roguelite with permadeath right and i was r i was really fucking bad at that game so but i don't know never say never also i don't remember what i did for the thumbnail but the thumbnail was probably like fucking terrible because i did not know what i was doing back then thumbnail wise all right dude it charges so fast that makes me so happy. My only complaint is I wish you could get that sooner because now I'm pretty much done with the game and I don't get to use it that much. You know? Oh my god, look at how fast it charges, guys! Hey, I'll just I'll just Ranger Sergeant Hooten. Putin. He was in some of the notes. All right, find the head. Hopefully, I didn't blow the head up. Oh, it's, the, it's an astronaut helmet. So a that's. Helmet. Wait, the entity. For a head. Is that what the prisoner meant? Oh my God! Do you guys know who the? Only one way to find out. Do you know who the prisoner is? The prisoner is Fra, the entity that came back on Apollo 14 with the astronauts. That's who the prisoner is. <laughs> Because it had its own spacesuit, remember? And it's wanting the head to its spacesuit. That's exactly what it is. Holy shit. First boss is the thumbnail, but it's pretty good, really. Oh, sweet. Thanks. I didn't remember. Oh, uh, yeah, that, like, multi-arm guy. I could never beat that guy. That's where I got stuck in Returnal. I tried so hard to beat that dude. Chicken station. <laughs> oh, far tastier. Press any button. So remember, the note about the fra entity said that it was really bad at English and it made no sense a lot. Now that I've put the dots together, that's who this is. So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes, snug and grape, pure grapes. What hey, the fuck? You're welcome, I guess. We're not gonna get to see it, are we? Did Kirkland? Lock you up in here? I don't know. Chief Gerbil? Yes. Chief Gerbil. <laughs> but Monarch's an happiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. He's happy well, in there? Sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we Dude, this guy. we got another weapon mod. Another okay. good one. Best we leave it locked up, though. We have no idea what it is, and we don't need any more problems out here. Definitely. Agreed. Leave it locked up, for sure. Oh, uh, we got another special weapon mod. Another yellow one. Yeah. What is this? Projectile speed plus 500% for charge? Is that for... 500% projectile speed? Dude, what the fuck? Alright, what do I get rid of? Uh, blast radius, projectile speed... Oh, easy. There, I... Uh, holy shit. 500% projectile speed. Dude. Bruh. <laughs> Those mods are insane. Why are they giving you all these good mods when the game is over? Well, that's very true. Technically, you can come and do... Well, I think this, this DLC, AWE, you have to progress to, I think, roughly the halfway point in the base game missions. But you can come do this DLC at any point after you unlock it. I just saved it until the end. And logically, it was the last DLC to come out. So if you had played Control, played the other DLC, then you would be playing this last. It's just something I guess they added for the last one. Also, 
you can go on the shum cabinet and replay bosses and you can also go and replay the jukebox and do the expedition things these mods would really help out with completing those right they are honestly some of these mods sound a little op <laughs> like like really op so 24 out of 24. Um, I need to get rid of something. C speed, shield strength. No, we want to keep those. I'm not going to use that. I'm also probably weapon reload. We won't use the 35% probably. So there's a few things. There's a few things. Is there a new game plus? I don't, I don't know. I don't think there is. There might be. I could be wrong. I'll have to look it up here. Okay. Hold on, I need to check something. So board countermeasures are just the reoccurring thingies, right? To get source. Uh, the, the, this is just the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is just uh, the bureau alerts, right? Which we've done five of those. We don't need to do anymore. Those continue on. We've completed 45 missions. Hold on, let me check. I wanna make sure we've done them all. There, Control has 46 missions total including one extra mission exclusive to PlayStation version. So we've done 45. I'm missing one mission. All right, what am I missing? What mission am I missing is the question. Fuck, chat. All right, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. Hold on. Hold on, actually. I got to... I got to... Give me a sec. And then I'll show you what I'm looking at. I lied to you. Um, I got to make sure I hide... Hide that. All right. I'm just looking right here at the control wiki. I just pulled that up. Control has 46 missions, one exclusive. So I'm missing a mission. This is no spoilers. Did I do? I did all of the Ati missions because we got the thing dead in its tracks. I think I did that. Let's double check. There's one mission I'm missing. I'm missing. I'm missing. Dead in its tracks. That's the one with the train, right? I did that one. Dead in its tracks. We did it. All right. No, 40. Is it the... Oh, is it? You might be right. Then I've did them all. Did I read that wrong? Including... Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So I have did 45. So I've done all the missions in the game. Okay. All right. There is one thing that we I want to do with you guys. There is one more thing. One more thing. So we did do all the missions in the game. No, you're right, Panthera. You, you're absolutely right. There is one other thing I want to do. Uh, we need, uh, I need, uh, I need a point. So there are those fire TVs that Leon and Mr. Diamante. That's not true. are real. Although none of that sounds as exciting as it did. Aliens are real. Her little dialogue right there was cool. All right. There's what? So there were these fire TVs in the maintenance sector, right? And if you throw all of them into the furnace, you get something, right? So we're going to go do that. Now, listen, I've done one of the TVs, maybe two. I don't know where they're all located, but I'm going to tell you right now, we're not going to wander around the entire fucking oldest house looking for the fire tvs because some of these are in fucking hidden locations and places so we're gonna we're gonna cheat this just because i want to see it with you guys all right so we're gonna look up the locations all right and it's gonna be okay i did everything else sans help okay so we're gonna look that up we're gonna say fire tvs in control game control got polygon perfect uh, all right, TVs. The first TV. <clears throat> They're going to be everywhere. The lucky cat. Yeah, we can look up the lucky cat and try to do that real quick, too. When you're in the NSC power plant, head towards the door labeled NSC coolant pumps. It's west of the titular control point on your map. Right before you enter the NSC coolant pump doors, turn around, look for a large pipe on the platform. That's one level above you right next to it. The mouth of the pipe is one of the TVs. Okay, so let's check that one first. Plus, this is just finding where the shit is hidden. I could probably do this if I spent a lot of time. 
But you don't, you guys don't want to just watch me wander around looking for these forever. We actually got to go down to do this. All right, the coolant pump door. That's the energy converters. That's the elevator. I think it's around over on this side. Ventilation, coolant pump, so it's not there. Coolant pump door. I know where it's at. It's right over here, right? Yep, I see it. All right, we're going to have to take care of these guys, though. All right. Fuck, dude. Holy shit. I just barely dodged that. Fuck you, bitch. Where's another bad guy? Fucking assholes. All right. There's the TV. Oh, I wonder if they're all going to be in the maintenance sector. Best way to the furnace. It's right back. Asshole. Alright. They don't know who they're fucking dealing with, dude. Alright, furnace is actually through the coolant pump store, right? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go. There's nothing in the game that hints you you're supposed to do it except for the TVs themselves. Yeah, they have the picture, right? Let's look at it. It has a picture of fire, right? It has a picture of the furnace is what it has, essentially. That's what's on it. The furnace opening. Jesse's unstoppable. Dude, I have powered up Jesse essentially all the way, right? Except for melee, which you don't need melee in this game. I mean, I'm sure if you upgraded melee all the way, it would be redunculous, but... All right. There's that one. Where's the next one? <laughs> Wait, oh, I pressed on the wrong thing. Where's the next one? Uh, the second TV, NSC coolant pump store, furnace chamber. From the NSC power plant, head through the coolant pump store, which leads to the furnace chamber. After descending your first set of stairs, you'll find a door to your right. Enter it, and to your left is another TV. Is this in the... It's in here? And the third one is there. Okay, all of these are going to be in maintenance then. So, I wouldn't have had to run around that much, but I had no idea. I had no way of knowing that they were all in maintenance. Here's the TV, though. That's the third TV. So, we'll just go ahead and do this one right now. Since we're here. All right. Boob tube? Are you the only one who calls old TVs that? No, my dad used to call it that. So yeah, I've heard that before. Uh, power plants, coolant pumps. So we're supposed to head through the door and then there's a door on the right. Is that what it said? Wait, I gotta look at, I gotta look at that again. Wait, I think I know it's up here. Wasn't there a door? Hold on. It's talking about this door up here, right? There's a TV in here. Yep. Okay. That's the first TV you saw, but you had no idea what to do with it. Yeah, I did. I think I found... Um, I think I found three of them before. I found one. Um, I found a couple in this area, yeah. Uh, so I think, yeah, I remember that, Leon. All right, that's three. I think that's three total that I've put in. So, all right. Third furnace chamber, the closest warp to this fire. Oh, I did that one. The fourth. Uh, ooh, the closest warp to this fire TV is the NSC coolant pumps entrance control point. From there, enter adjacent furnace chamber. From the entrance, turn around and look up. You'll find an opening levitate to. You'll find another TV there behind a fence. To grab it, you'll need to levitate and use launch to lift it through the gap in the fence. Okay. I know exactly where this one is then. I think I found this one too before, right? Yeah, I found this. I found this before, and this is the one where I was like, I have no idea what to do with these. So several, three of them are very close to the furnace. I guess their proximity to the furnace should be another indicator that you're supposed to put them in the furnace, right? Uh, the fifth, this one, I 
put in the furnace. This is the one I was streaming. I found it. And then I just straight up asked Leon what to do with it. And we put it in the furnace. So that one's done. This one, I think I've seen this one too before. So this one is harder to find since it's not actually near the power plant or furnace. It's actually in the NSC coolant pumps room. The closest warp NSC coolant pumps from there. I had the whole... Uh, on the ground floor of the coolant pumps room, face the elevator to its right next to the bright spot light above. Is levitate up there and grab it. There's a seventh TV. But what? I think six is all you need to do and then it works. We've gotten that before. All right. I know where that's at. Once you get it, you're, uh, you're not sure if I'll even use it. Well, we'll see what it is. It's a little side quest thing, so. Or a quest that isn't even a mission, but we'll try it. All right, this is the coolant pumps room. It's at the bottom floor. Hey, what's up, Papa Pepsi? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. First time watching me. Hell yeah, welcome. Well, we're at a little bit of a weird point. I've completed pretty much this entire game, uh, Papa Pepsi. I've beaten everything, even both DLCs. I'm just mopping up a few little secret things here real quick. Okay, bottom floor. I knew this was going to happen. Oh my god. Charge is insane now, guys, with that upgrade. Holy fuck. Wow. The fuck? Alright, was that everybody? Did I kill them all? I think I killed them all. Alright, the TV's down on this lower level next to the elevator, which I think is over here. If I remember this place correctly. No, that's not the elevator. That's the door out. Okay, the TV's on this level somewhere. Here's the elevator. TV where? Right there. All right. And then we came in from over here, right? So this is the way back. And then we're finally done with this game, y'all. On to newer and better things. I know, it's been a... We'll have to go look, because I'm curious. I think this has been like a 40-hour stream journey. It's been awesome. Don't worry, though. I don't think I'm going to end yet. I want to do... I want to do... Uh, there's a there's a couple of minor things not in the game but there's something i want to i still got some energy left because i drank a, i drank a mountain dizzle zero or i was drinking it at the start of the stream so we're gonna go do something out of care out of character for my content wise but we'll wrap up tonight with something a little fun something a little different eternal fire so we got another, we got another fucking, uh, do hick -a bob Ammo refund chance on hit plus a hundred percent for grip. Wait, no way, dude. Hold on. Leon, I would totally use this if I got it earlier. Grip is the, I love grip and pierce were my two favorites. Essentially. I know I stopped using grip a lot. Accuracy plus 12%. So I think we'll get rid of accuracy. Or I could get rid of one of the rate of fires. You know, we'll get rid of one of the rate of fires. That means every shot that you hit with, you get ammo refunded. It's essentially unlimited ammo for the gun. Jesus Christ, dude. As long as you're hitting, you have unlimited ammo. That's ridiculous. That is an insane mod. All right. So here's my question, though. Right? Let's look at our guns, okay? We have a special mod for grip. We have a special mod for pierce. We have a special mod for charge. We have a special mod for shatter and a special mod for spin. Surge is the one that got added in the AWE DLC. What do we need to do to get the special mod for surge? So I, I got all the special mods for each of the base guns, but I don't have the special yellow mod for surge. It's your favorite mod. It, it, yeah, I think that might be my favorite mod too. Yeah, that's really good. All right, let's get back to a control point real quick. I want to look up that uh, that cat thingy. That's the last thing I think I want to do. I want to see it for the foundation DLC. 
Let's see if we can look that up real quick. See if that's actually anything. With a 7th TV. There is, in fact, a 7th TV. However, it doesn't look like the other TVs. It also behaves differently. You can find this TV on top of the control room where you met Aresh. The TV is shining bright white. However, whenever we take it too close to the door leading to the coolant pumps, it magically disappears. It also disappears if you try to take it up too high in the power plant. However, whenever it does disappear, it always reappears in its original spot. Coincidence or another puzzle? We're not sure. Hmm. All right. Um, disappearing cat in control DLC the foundation. I don't know. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, one of us. It uh, turns out the cat I was missing was actually the very pale pink. It was the astral tower PowerPoint. Uh, control point. Feeling lucky. I have the gold suit. I got the gold suit, brother. Uh, oh! Uh, this isn't a mission, really, but if you're around collapsed apartment area, you'll see a single, uh, Mankey Neko statue guarding a locked door. Find eight, uh, and you'll be able to redeem a prize. This is a multi-part cat to grab it. Go, oh my god, there's that many? Okay, hold on. Uh... I go cat statue control found I need to find a better article than that. I didn't like the way that one was written. <laughs> There's a lot, apparently. Okay, here we go. This one looks better. Alright. Uh figure one cave bridge. I got this, right? Your job is to bring eight black cubes and place them in the right fields. Levit oh my god. Start by moving to the cave where you unlocked some of the black cubes are on upper shelves. Lift them and throw them towards the excavation area. One of the cubes that uh, turn right. Uh, and black cubes must be arranged in the right way. The picture shows that. Take advantage of the fact that when using levitation, you can drop an object without throwing it. Dude, how do you even figure this shit out? Like, for real. Okay, let's go do this. How do you... I, I wonder what you get for this. It can't be the Surge mod. Because that was the... That was in AWE DLC is when Surge was added. And Foundation was before that. So that can't be... That can't be it. I need the Cave System one? No. Which one? This one. This is insane. There's a lot of kitties. Yeah, I already got the gold suit. Uh, well, I can't sh We can't do suits. Yeah, we, we'll we go back to the um, main control point right when we end, and we'll... Uh, I'll show you all the suits I have. All right, here's one of these. Is it here, or the puzzles... Where's the puzzle? It's over there. I see it. All right, so how many cubes do I have down here? Right now... We have one, two, three, four. All right. Ah, uh, damn it. I should not have jumped down from there. I think there's more cubes up high. All right. There might be another one down here. We need eight cubes. Fuck. Where can I go? I got to go back this way to get back to a control point. I sound like a McDonald burger? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> what does a McDonald's burger sound like? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's so confusing. What you, <laughs> you have to explain this. <laughs> a tour name? What do you mean? Hey, what's up, Hunter's Heart? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Um, all right, I need to I need to go back to that top cave bridge platform. <laughs> a McGangbang? Oh god, dude, guys, I've been craving a McGangbang ever since IGP and I talked about it. In that, uh, what well, we were playing Demonologist, right? <laughs> McGangbangs are so good, but I just feel like I think I mentioned this before. I feel like I'm too old now. Like I can't have one because I'll instantly gain like 500 pounds if I if I eat a McGangbang. Bang. 
There can't be one through here, can there? I don't think there is. And that's where we spawn. There's not one there. The McMuffin Diver? <laughs> well, that's the one. Isn't that the one that has the filet of fish? I don't, I don't like seafood, so I couldn't do that for that sole reason. But other than that, yeah, sure. All right, I think... I think this is the last one. I could be wrong. In fact, I might actually be really wrong. Because one, two, three, four, five, six. And isn't there supposed to be eight? Yeah, I think there's supposed to be eight. All right, well, let's go ahead and arrange these so that I don't feel weird. Um, The puzzle solution. Okay. So next, to, so line those up. Two, four, six. There is eight. It's on the end next to the rock. Okay, I can do this. I can do this, no problem. All right, so we want to put one right there. Right? Want to put one right there. Right there. Actually, I don't know. I feel like I need to be inside of this more. I wonder where, like... I think I saw these when we were doing the Foundation DLC, and I was like, I feel like you're supposed to do something with them. They're pieces of the astral plane. But what exactly? No clue, right? We need to find two more after this. And this is just to get... Ah, oh, shit. I knocked that out, didn't I? I think this one goes... I think one of them goes here, right? I could be wrong. We'll double check that. Um, This is just to get one cat. One of the eight cats. What else are we going to have to do? All right. Let's double check. Because then one goes there and one goes there, right? Let's double check. Uh, where's the picture? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So we need two more. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Where are the other two? Some of the black cubes are on upper shelves. Lift up and throw them in the visible areas. One of the cubes is in the is on the outermost bridge. Picture one. Turn to the left to find the cube. Picture one. Where the fuck is picture one? Uh, this one. It's on that bridge. Did I get that? I might have gotten that one already. Figure two, Chasm. It is possible to obtain this figurine during the found footage. I got this one. I got this cat, I think. No, I did not get that cat. Okay. I need to, we need to find the other two. Well, chat, you can pitch in and help out. We need two more black cube thingies. Oh, here's one. We need one more black cube thingy. All right, this one goes right, sure. All right, we need one more black cube thingy. Donde esta? Oh shit! Oh, he's fucking- You're fucking on my cubes! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Yeah, I'm dead. Really? He spawned while I was doing- And I gotta do that all over again, don't I? Taurus, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I gotta do- This is gonna take so fucking long. Maybe I should go get the other kitties. We might not even have time to do the fun thing I was going to do. Uh, where's the puzzle? Back there. All right, let's just make sure. That there's not a black cube back here. And let's get a ranger to help us. Director Faden here. I need a ranger dispatched to my position. Was I missing this cube last time? Was this the cube that I was missing? It might have been. How many cubes we got down there? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need two more. So there's the one up here, right? Which will be seven. I believe. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, that's the McMuff diver. Okay, I could do that. I'm not I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of uh regular beef sausage. Um, because I'm weird about meat, right? We've talked about that some before, and I don't particularly like You just get you just get unlimited ammo essentially for grip. Like watch this. As long as you're hitting, it's unlimited ammo. Oh, I missed. I missed though. <laughs> God damn it. Dude. Alright, and there's a hit. There's a sniper. Where the fuck did he go? Please tell me that's it. Okay, good. All right, how fucked am I cube-wise over here? I swear, if more enemies spawn in while I'm trying to do this, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be fucking mad. This is the wrong, no, this is the right side. God damn it, I knocked it out. This is delicate work. Okay. And then we got to do We got to do this, right? And then this. Now we need one more to go where I'm standing. Question is, where's the last one? We got to go find it. Damn it, it's always one. You think you understand the story? The board and the former used to play D&D, &D, then got angry at each other. That is their dice set that got thrown in anger that landed on the foundation. I love that. That's a great, that's a great headcanon for what happened. <laughs> All right, where's the last, like, for real? Where, I, I can't, I'm scared that I can't, I feel like I can't teleport or go too far away from here because it'll reset, right? Is what I'm worried about. Damn, and I feel like I need to go back up. I thought I had them all. But now I feel like I gotta go back up. So. Chat, you know, you guys know what that means. How many times have I been stacking stuff in this area? All right. This, maybe? Will it stack? Let's play, let's play the game of will it stack? It will. You might be asking yourself, why am I doing that? It's to get to this ledge. That's why. I'm gonna need... Surge. There we go. I'm just wondering, is there a, is there a black piece like right there? No, there's not. Hmm. Does anybody know where the last one is? Anybody know where? Is it in here? Oh, is that it? No. God damn it. Okay. Oh my god. Well, hopefully. Fuck, dude. Don't tell me that that respawned them. Okay, no, I kept them. 
the day I see a Skilly McFilly on the uh, burger on the menu for McDonald's, it better have seven layers of cheese. Oh, it's got to have all the kinds of cheese. Yeah. All of the most of them should be in this area, right? Or all of them. I have I have seven. How come that article doesn't tell you where they all are, does it? <clears throat> Some of the black cubes are on the upper level. One of the cubes is in the outermost bridge. Turn to the left to find the cube. I think I found it. Another hard to find cube is in an adjacent location. Follow the research site Delta sign. There you will also find a lower cave system checkpoint. If you use it to return up to the cave bridge checkpoint, all cubes should thankfully remain in the same place. Lower cave system checkpoint. Okay. Research delta sign. All right. They should all remain. Okay. Research delta. Lower cave checkpoint. It would be, it's got to be this way. So the other one's got to be down through here somewhere. Man, <clears throat> you got to get something crazy for completing this. Oh, here it is. My god, that's super easy. All right. Oh shit. Hey! We got him. All right. Here's the problem. I've gotten two of these cats, and I don't know that I fully remember which ones I got, but if they're not there, then we won't get them. All right, we got him. We got to go to the chasm. Uh, it is possible to obtain this figurine during the found footage side quest. As a reminder, uh, you can reach the chasm after you unlock both of Jessica's powers. You'll have to start at the cave system checkpoint and use the shape power to pull out the shelf. Uh, we, I, I don't think I've gotten this one. The secret is found in the final part of the cave. If you have chosen the back entrance, pay attention. It's to the left. You need to locate the passage shown in the image. Put the lamp slash TV on the ground and use telekinesis to remove the boulders. Squeeze through the partially collapsed passageway to find the cat. This might have been one of the ones I found, but it may not have been. So we got to get to the chasm. Um, oh, dude, I don't remember the best way to do this. It's up. It's really high in this area. Actually, it's back in this area. Okay, and we have to be on that side. Okay. Here we go. It's not in here, it's in, it's this way. Are we doing all the cats? Yes, we are doing all the kitties. It shouldn't take too long. I don't think, it's, they're not all as complicated as that. At least I don't think so. All right, it's at the bottom of the chasm, right? That's where we trapped an altered item before, but it's no longer there. I'm gonna need a light so that we can see. We're probably gonna have to fight though down here. I did find one up, I think I found two before independently. I remember finding two, yeah, and you're right. One of them was up the side of a chasm. You are absolutely correct. The other one might have been this one, but I'm not sure. Dude, I can't wait to see what we get at the end of this. Shouldn't have thrown my light. So I think this thing is going to be even further, right? This this cave creeped me out the first time we were here, and it's creeping me out again. These are astral plane dudes, right? Give me, um, Brit back. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god! Oh, I missed, though. I missed some. No! 
Dude, how was I was staggering him? The unlimited ammo is broken a little bit. If you fire too quickly, which we just saw in rapid succession, you'll end up missing a spot, right? So you can't fire that quickly, you know? Bye, Rob. Take care. Have a good one. I would say, yeah, a lot of powers in this game are a little broken, though. <laughs> I mean, you do have to you do have to fight pretty hard in some scenarios, so. You know what? We may just we may just power through here. It's near the end of the chasm. What's up, sentient? Welcome. Good to have you, man. Oh, fuck those guys. We're just trying to get a cat, dude. I gotta collect them all, bro. Is it in here? Or do I have to just go through this? Alright, hold on. Wait. Can I just set you down right here? No, I need you to shine light. You're not shining light the right way. This can't be... Is this the right way out of the chasm? Yeah, I think we're still going the right way. What's through here, though? Just a pilot. This is not it. Okay. God, I forgot how big this was and how in the... When we were playing the DLC, this place is like off of the map, right? So it's 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 creepy. I'm just skipping all these guys. Is this the way we came in? Did I go the wrong way? Did I go backwards? Have we been this way, chat? Help me out. <laughs> Have we been this way? Fuck you. What happened to my light? I feel like I've been this way. Maybe not. I'm going to keep going. You feel like some areas might be accessible both ways? Yeah, I feel like I went the wrong... Oh boy, this is a fucking maze. Why did they have to make it like this? Oh my goodness. It's in the chasm. It's right there. Right? 
You go through, uh, the secret is found in the final part of the cave. If you choose the back entrance, pay attention. It's to the left. Where's the back? I might've gotten this one too, but I don't remember. How do you get into the back entrance? This feels like we're going back. This is the right way though. We're going the right way. <laughs> to trust that we're just we're just not as far in as i thought we were and i'm probably gonna end up dying because we're yeah we're getting close we're getting close though hopefully i don't die unfortunately there's not a control point directly near this we go to get out of here why'd they make this so dark this way right oh we're like right here dude Okay, that's the way we came from that way. Fuck. You're gonna help me. the way we came in what the feck is the way out <sighs> this way dude this is so I'm, I'm starting to get I'm starting to I don't like the dark <laughs> be honest Feels like it should be up here, right? But then how the fuck? Oh my God, does anybody know how to get out of this cave? For real, I mean, I know the entrance that we came in. But how do I get out of here? Fuck, dude. I feel like I had this problem before when we were here. Welcome, Joseph, by the way. Good to have you. Does anybody know? Was there a map on the web page? There wasn't a map, was there? Oh, that's for the first one. Yeah, the problem is we're off map. It's in the chasm in this area, but we're off map, right? And if you look at my map, we're like right in this area, but there's a, if I remember correctly, having done this DLC, we come into this cave from down here. And then there's a way, right? This is the way we came in. There's a way out of this room. There's a way out. Another way out, I guess I should say.
Maybe there's not. Something about moving slash demolishing boulders? Maybe. Maybe I just went the wrong way. Maybe there was another entrance or another way to go from here. See, now we're going back. This isn't right. Okay, now we gotta go. Okay, wait, there's a way. Okay, hold on. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna go in the back way. Well, I'm not doing that whole fucking chasm again. So you might be like, Skilly, what's the back way? We'll, we'll figure it out here. Cause I don't remember either. So, the back way is up above us somewhere. Isn't it? So, the chasm goes that way. Where's the back way? Doesn't it come out in the cave system? Hold on. The back way is always the best way. Yeah, I need a, we need to go back to this control point. It comes out in the cave system somewhere. Welcome, Mr. Gold Ember, by the way. Good to have you. Oh, I completed a board countermeasure. Do I even care about countermeasures anymore? No. Actually, I probably just... I mean, why not? But at the same time, I don't need... Everything is fully upgraded. I don't need the source. I don't need it. So... Uh, where is it? Cave Bridge. I think the chasm comes out, if I remember correctly. There's like, uh... Wouldn't be in here. Wouldn't be crossroads either. Where's the... All right, hold on. I gotta run to the bathroom real quick. I'm also getting impatient because I have to pee. <laughs> I'm gonna put some views. Gotta literally be like 45 seconds because my bathroom is right there. Okay? So you have 45 seconds to listen to a song. And then I'll be right back. A nomad's way. How about that? I'll be right back. I got to unmute though. Yes, I washed my hands. I always wash my hands. Don't worry. I'm a very clean person. I couldn't leave the bathroom without washing my hands. 
I would feel too ick. I wouldn't be able I wouldn't be able to do it. I thought that the fucking chasm came out. I remember I feel like it coming out somewhere. Oh, man. Uh hold on. Maybe we can look this up. Oh, where does the chasm come out in the foundation? DLC control. Why am I in all caps? It doesn't matter. Look at how you shape to extract the crystals and levitate up to the chasm entrance. Yeah. Uh, can we just see where it brings us out? Quest begins. You go through there. You go through there, you do all the TV. And it comes out here. <clears throat> Can I see a map? Yeah, I, I know where it starts. Does it come out in the same place? I don't want to watch a video. I don't want to get, I don't want to get copyright struck. And that's not, did I close out by accident the cat thing? Fuck. I had a better cat thing. Foundation DLC. What was the cat one I was using? I was using this one, right? No, I wasn't. That's the one. Was it this one? Yes. Hey, what's up, Arrow? Welcome to the stream. Fuck, dude. You know what? Maybe we'll just dive back into the chasm and I'll fly around. Fuck it. We know it's at the end of this stupid puzzle. That's not it. Deep cavern. Oh, that's because it's back over this way. Back over this way, that's right. I said welcome earlier. Oh. I do that a lot. It's hard to remember who's come this stream and who hasn't after a certain amount of time. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Fucking get off me, guys. Yeah. Alright chat, you gotta help me, we gotta pay attention. Okay, here's this. Right? But this is the main entrance. So does this just loop around back on itself? Just a different way? I think it does. Is there a light out here? There is. Will you please come through the goddamn door with me before I lose? So you do eventually loop back around to that same spot. It's just the way that you loop back around is different. And the cat statue is going to be near the end of the loop. Fuck, I'm not fighting. Fuck you. I guess how Leave me alone Leave me alone No touchy So we're not in, We're not to the end Until we have looped back around God they really made some parts of this game So fucking confusing Oh no. Oh no. Wait, was I supposed to go this way? No, this is where you... F is this where you find the TV? Or 
here's the problem. There's several ways to go, and I don't know which one is the right one. I want to pick up the light. Thank you. This feels like we're going down, though. This feels correct. Famous last words, right? This way. All right, we came to this door before. We're getting close. We're going back. I feel like we're on the right way. You believe in me? I don't believe it. Uh, I mean, thank you. But I fuck up so much. <laughs> Dude, they they hid some of the secrets and shit in this game. So that like that puzzle to get the golden suit. It's ridiculous. I don't even know how people figured some of this shit out. I know. Can't the enemies stay gone? Can I use my director powers just to banish them forever? Oh boy. We're in this spot again. Hold on. I'm gonna have to take these guys out. previously so here's the problem this area right here might not have an out this might have just been where we got the tv i don't remember for sure but i didn't think that was the case and we might have to backtrack in one of those other side ca side caves yeah might have been the way right i think so although we're right here it's like we're right... Oh. All right, let's go back and check those side caves then. And then, of course, we're going to have to come back here and fight those guys again because it's actually going to be in there somewhere. But I've floated around that room so much. I haven't seen anywhere that looks like that rock outcropping in the picture either. Wasn't there a side room somewhere close? Didn't I do this already? Get the TV from there and put it in the box? I did. I did. I'm not... That's not what I'm trying to do, though. There's a cat puzzle. You gotta find eight cats. And uh, once you've found the eight cats, you get a reward or something for it. It's a little secret thing. That's what I'm working on right now. One of the cats is uh, in in this area. We're just trying to find the end of the maze so that I can get that cat. Hey, take care, Pepsi. Thanks for joining. Yo, I might drive. Uh, this is getting annoying. I dropped this fucking thing. Was it back this way? Yeah, like, what's in here? Oh, is this actually where I need to be? No, how is this working back around this way? Dude, this area makes no fucking sense. Where does this go? 
Okay, just a room by itself. There's no cat in here, though. Somebody do some Google foo for me and find out the way out of this fucking place. Why am I so dumb? Yeah, nobody here knows, for real. <laughs> this is it. Everybody who can, who has trouble keeping quiet. Everybody. We're in the chasm in the foundation sector of the DLC. And we're looking for one of the kitties, but it's at the end of the chasm maze. But I can't, I get, I get to this very one, with this one part. You kept bailing me out, it's right there. What do you mean? All right, where's my light? Woo. Oh, he's fucking he's <laughs> You damn troll arrow. <laughs> See like we get to a certain point and then it's like Isn't it is it this room? Yeah, it's this room. I mean, not that the cat is in this room. I mean, this room is where we get stuck. It's like we're at back at the end of the chasm, but not really. Yes, yeah. I just can't find it. This game is going to make me rage quit. It's you got to clear some here. Look, look, look. I what as soon as I see it, I'm going to know. Okay? It's this. It's behind this. Right? Now finding that, it said the secret is found in the final part of the cave. If you've chosen the back entrance, pay attention to its left walls when exploring the cave. You need to locate the passage shown in the image, put the lamp or TV on the ground, and use telekinesis to move the rocks, and the cat is in there. Partially collapsed tunnel, right? But where is the back entrance? If you've already completed this quest, then reach the lower gate shown in the image. It will be opened. Where is that lower gate, though? Where's the lower gate? No, because... Okay, so that's the weird thing, right? Look, this whole... This was for a side quest. You see my character off the map? There is no map for this. This whole side quest was a weird thing where, like, yeah, you're off the map. I need to find that back door. Basically, what I need to do is I need to find this back fucking door. If I could if I could remember where this back door is that's now unlocked because I completed that quest. Then I would be good. This isn't the final room, though. I need to find that door and go in it, and then this will be like right there. But that door is not in this area. I think I just have to leave the chasm. But I don't remember where that back door is. I don't remember. I'm in the chasm. I'm in the chasm. What do you mean don't uh, le go back to I'm in the chasm. What do you mean it's there? 
you guys got to use more words than it's there or it's right there. I can't, first off, I can't tell if you're trolling or not. And then second off, there is very non, there's a lot of there. <laughs> Am I? I don't have a light. I can't see. This isn't the back entrance. I I lost my light now and I can't fucking see. You posted it and time stamped it? You posted it where? But it, is it in a YouTube video? getting out of here if I don't have a fucking light. Dude, even if I go this way, there's no goddamn fucking light. I threw my light and I lost it. Now I can't see and I can't get out of this fucking place. Yeah, that's what I need to do is hop out of the cave, but I can't get out of the cave anymore because I can't, I can't tell where I'm at. I'm literally, I'm lost. I can't fucking see because apparently we're not allowed to have lights. Follow the wall, dude. I can't even tell. I mean, there's kind of a wall here. I'm about I'm about to reload. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't want to just wander around in the dark. This this fuck this chasm. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Dude, I am not going back in there. I will not enter the chasm unless it's from the back thing. All right, we've got the other, the other, it saves every time you get the things. Okay. I do not need to go back in. All right, there's a door that's open somewhere. I can always watch a video on the second monitor. Yeah, I guess I could. Guess I could. All right. That's not the back entrance, is it? Yeah, no, I know. Back chasm entrance. Where is it at, though? Like, like, where can I warp to? To go into the back chasm entrance. That door is somewhere around here. We just got to find the door. Fucking hell. I'm about to watch. This is, I hate, I hate doing this, though. I mean, I know I was looking up help for these anyways, but now I'm going to be doing something off screen that you guys can't see or hear. And also, too, God damn it, I just fucked up my entire... Hold on. Hold on. I can't even see you guys now because I have everything set up correctly. Die for the views. <laughs> All right. Hold on. I got to mute the, the stream... The system audio. There you go. You should still be able to hear me. This is fucking insane. 
Like, I think that's a li it's a little too, that whole chasm is a little too, um. Wait, hold on, what am I looking up? I'm looking up foundation, DLC control, chasm back entrance location. Did somebody post a video for me somewhere? Can, where is that at again? Where did you post that? Can you remind me? Yeah, this one, this one is a little... If I had a complaint about this game, some of the obscure stuff like this is a little fucked. It's a little fucked. No, this is not what I want. You posted it here. What do you mean? No, you, you're blocked from posting links here. So where's here? Sorry. Did you post it in a comment on the, on the, on the, str instead of live chat? Is that what you're saying? Cause I don't see a link Taurus and non mods can't post a link. Yeah. So you're probably trying to post it and the message is getting auto deleted and I can't see it. <laughs> Sorry. We have to get rid of links cause otherwise the prawn bots and everybody come in and post a bunch of links that they shouldn't be posting. <laughs> Okay, where is this back entrance at? <laughs> I was like, you posted, I was like, I don't know where it's at. Is that the back door? Yeah, you can't put it in live chat. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't. It, nobody will ever see it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just tried to look at like five different videos and I couldn't fucking find it. I don't want to I don't want to sit there and go through. We might just move on to the other cats and then and then I don't know. Or this is also annoying me enough to where I don't even know if I want to continue the mission. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> All right, uh, somebody, somebody, find me the location if you can. This is where you can pitch in. If somebody, if somebody doesn't find and post me right to where to go to it, uh, I'm gonna do the other cats while I'm doing this. Uh, you can find this figure soon after performing the ritual in the collapse department. Set off from where the monolith was and head north. I need specific directions on where to find the back entrance to the chasm. That's what I need. Um, crossroads. I'm outsourcing now. <laughs> I'm outsourcing the stream stuff. <laughs> you must reach a shelf. Look, at, I did this one. I did that shelf. We found that cat. So I've done that one. The warehouse. In order to get this figure, you must unlock floors five and six of the tower located in the warehouse. This takes place on the way to one of the monoliths. Use the elevator five machine room. Elevator six upper warehouse. Your task is to destroy four hiss nodes, and you have to do this in a single ride from level five to six. This image shows an example of one of the nodes. You have to destroy the nodes with melee attacks in the PS. Uh, you can also shoot. Oh, maybe melee. Here's the front ninety degrees to the right, running towards the. Key. Well, unfortunately, it's easy to miss the moment when you have a perfect. If you can make this easier by. You can make this easier by stopping the elevator as you travel. As soon as you hear the sound of a hiss node, press the stop button to stop the elevator. This will allow you to calmly position yourself, okay? If I do it all, then the thing peer appears. Okay, I can get this one easy. You put it in general chat in the Discord? All right, let's see. All right, I gotta mute, I gotta mute volume again, hold on. Stream volume, general chat. Thank you, Taurus, by the way. I really appreciate it. God 
damn it. It's Deviver Steve right here, and we're playing Control's Foundation expansion. If you are too, you may have noticed this, uh... Cat 2. Now, Cat 2 is another two-part cat. You're going to start at the Astral Collision uh, control point. Turn slightly to the right, and there'll be... 806, you open, said? The right one. You'll find the place for the cube to go. Wait, 806? That's not the right timestamp, is it, for this video? The video that you dropped in general? Is that right? 806 isn't the back entrance, right? You can hear it? Oh, fuck. How can you hear it? Oh, no. You can hear it because of broadcast stream mix. I can't do that then. Somebody has to just tell me on the map why. Okay, look here. Like on the map, right? For the foundation, what control point should I warp to and then directions from there? If I play too much of a video like that, I'm going to get copyrighted. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> also, 806, that timestamp, that looked like a different cat to me. That looked like a different cat. Cabe Bridge Control Point? The Cave Bridge Control Point? The one up there? I... Okay, hold on. I'll teleport back up there. That's the control point that's back in there, though. That's how you get into the chasm. I want the control point that's the back entrance. I don't want the entrance. I want the back entrance. I'm so confused. This chasm thing has me so fucking confused. Like, I need the back entrance. Jump through the... Okay, bridge control point. Go through the door, not the hole. What do you mean, go through the door? Okay, this is the cave bridge control point. Where do I go from here? It's in the large room you had fought in? What? Okay, so I just go back. I go back through the chasm? Is that what you're telling me? I gotta go back all the way through that? Guys, this does... I gotta be honest. This doesn't feel right, guys. <laughs> I was in there. I can't tell. This isn't right. Banging on phone. <laughs> what do you... Well, hold on. I... What? Cave bridge control point. That's this. That's this one right over here, right? Am I stupid? I'm feeling. Uh, this is making me feel so dumb. You guys might see me give up here. I'm at the cave bridge. All right. Instructions from here, please, please. Where do I go? Over here. All right, this is the exit. Right, is this it? Right here, this is it. Right? Right? No, this isn't it. This isn't it. This is it? I just want the enemies to stop spawning! Dude, this is taking... I'm about, I'm about to fucking lose it. I'm about to fucking lose it. Yeah, I thought that was wrong. See? Okay, this just... This just doesn't seem right. It's the room plus... Past the first white chasm you go over? What? <laughs> I'm so confused, dude. I'm so confused. This makes no sense. All right, hold on. That's the 
the wrong place. That's not the chasm. The chasm is right here. This is the chasm. Because that area that we were in is not the right place. In chasm, walk it continue through tunnel until past third astral spike and reach large cavern with astral copies. Use light to find rocks on right. Move to reveal hidden cave. Yeah. Thank you, Panther. I really appreciate that, but I don't know that I understand where that's at. I'm going to be honest. Okay, hold on. We might be on to something here. All right, I feel like this is the end. Is this the door? Where's the light? So it's in here somewhere, right? That's the door. That's the exit. This is the door. Are we sure? So then it should be on the left wall, right? It should be on the left wall. That's what that guide back there said. It is not here. That is the entrance that I went in. Correct. Past one gap in a room with a bunch. So it's in here. It has to be in here. Go a little deeper. Fuck you. I shouldn't have did that. I need my light. Yeah, I just passed a white opening. This is the room you guys are talking about. Past one gap in a room with a bunch of enemies. This is it. All right, this is it. This is the room we were in. I could have sworn I checked this place like crazy. here drop down to the right all right this is where we came in right we came in right there because there's my original light drop down and to the right yeah i remember what it looks like from the screenshot it's just not here Right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Where's my light? I can't see. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck that kitty, dude. I'm sorry if you like cats. That cat? Fuck that cat, dude. Fuck that. Oh my god. That was almost as bad as the goddamn can opener. Nah, it was it wasn't even on the same level. I'm getting out of this out of the cave. Jesus, dude. I can't describe to you the amount of relief that just went washed over my body. Oh my god. Fuck that chasm, dude. Oh. 
Take care, possum. Have a good one. All right. Hopefully, the rest of the cats are not that hard to find. Nothing can outdo the can opener. Yeah, that... Okay, finally. All right. So, we've got three out of eight cats. Is that right? I can't... Is it really that many? Fuck. I got to open a new thing. Uh, Cats. Foundation. DLC control miss I butchered that god damn did I butcher that and then this isn't the one that we want I just can never remember that foundation DLC apparently you can only find this page there you go I'm gonna bookmark that I'm done all right um this third one this is the one that i got before i vividly remember flying to that and finding the cat that's actually the first one i found okay we need to go to the warehouse in the elevator and do that okay i got this i got this i got this i can do this one easy all right resume game fast travel uh the warehouse one warehouse boom we got this The guide goes through the other entrance. All right. Woo! All right. The rest of them shouldn't be that hard, though. <laughs> you hope someone was lurking and heard that. All right. We're going to take this to the fifth floor. And then we got to ride between. We got to do them all on the same ride, unfortunately. So the guide's guidance was when you hear the hissing of the hiss node hit the stop button to stop and then melee them right so that i guess that's what we'll try to do because you also have a delay between your melee you can't shoot them so it's really taking a long time to go up to the fifth floor isn't it All right. Which side of the gate are they going to open on? Oh, it hasn't. Okay. God damn it, dude. That was close. Can I get it from here? I can. Tell me I got that one too. All right. You got to do it all in one ride. Oops. I think that's all of them. It is. Yeah. First try, baby. That's a gold one. All right. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit, guys. Good shit. All right, figure four, figure five. You can only get this action figure after unlocking Pope's collection side mission. We have described it on a separate page for the record. There's a look, competing Pope's collection unlocks floor zero of the basic. Get there and find the knob shown in the picture. Turn it, get out of the tower and explore the adjacent yellow buildings. You'll find the showers in one of them. Interact with these objects. Wait till the water starts flowing. Turn 180 degrees and the cat will appear. Okay, so, okay. All right, that's easy. This is easy. We're right here at the elevator. We did Pope's collection too. We did all the side quests. We're just going back down. Hey, we're almost done, guys. We've already got four. This is about to be the fifth. We're almost done. It was just that one cat in the fucking in the in the in the chasm that was a pain in the ass. The rest of them are just little quick secrets, it looks like. Seriously, though, for this, like, this cat, 
the chasm one I could see you accidentally stumbling across. But for this cat, you have to turn this knob in basement zero. And then you have to go to another building in a slightly different area. How the fuck do you get that? Yeah, without the map for the chasm, that's what makes that really hard. It really sucks. It's 1.30 a.m. Uh, nah, god damn it. All right, where's the valve? 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 Here we go. Found it. Huh? Is that not it? I can't, I couldn't turn that. Did I interact with that before already? I might have interacted with that before. Not knowing what it was, you know? Did I get the cat from the shower already? That's definitely the valve, right? That's definitely the valve. Yeah, that's absolutely it. Uh, completing Pope's collection on like, sir, so do that. I might have already done, I might have already interacted with that. Yeah, I'm not getting a prompt for it. Okay, I think I've done that. All right. So then we need to go where again? Uh, get out of the tower and explore the adjacent yellow buildings. Okay, so we'll go to, we'll go to floor one. And we should be able to exit and the yellow building should be right there. Warehouse entrance. In a previous stream, I turned it on, forgotten one. Yeah. Control three ideas. Flashlight. <laughs> it would be definitely nice to have a flashlight. It's kind of interesting that there isn't one in this game. All right. If I remember correctly, the showers are in here, but I could be wrong. I'm so wrong. Okay. Well, here we go. All right, turn it on. Hey! All right, we got him. All right, hold on. Let's make sure we're we're paused. All right, figure six, collapse department. Fast travel to collapse department checkpoint. Follow the main path until you reach the data entry and filing room from the image above. Eliminate the enemies. Check out the office on the ground floor. In one of them, you can use telekinesis or explosives to tear down a section of the wall. Enter the room, which serves as a hidden area. Turn right and tear down another wall. In the small room, you're fine. See, how did people... How did people fucking find this shit? For real. Like, for rizzle. All right, fast travel, collapsed department, right? Does that count as collapsed department? Transit access? No, right here. Here we go. Mine's at 96%. All right. Uh, the room where you fight all the data entry and filing. Yep, here we go. Yep, give me one of these guys. This is Director Faden. Send a ranger to my position. All right, one of the bottom offices here, right? You can blow a hole in a wall. We've seen one of these before. We're in this together. Is it this one? You know what we need? Um surge. That's not it. Where's the, the... Yeah, that's the guy I'm looking for. He moved.
this is such get me in this goddamn office dude get me in the goddamn office just let me walk in the fucking door There's an office on the bottom floor, right? That's what it said. Which one, though? Uh, it's one with a bunch of filing cabinets and the light is on. Okay. So which one has a light on in the bottom floor? I see it. This is it. This has got to be it. How would you even find this? Like it did, it doesn't look like you could blast through this wall. You're literally just blasting through every single wall. Watch out, but Get out, out of my way. Hey, green cat. All right. <laughs> God damn, dude. I would have never found all of these on my own. No fucking way. Astral collision. Use fast travel to reach the astral collision. The astral plane you visited the first time during now. Go ahead, straight ahead of the platform. Do that. I did this. I did this before. Didn't I? Let me see the cat. Where's the cat? Oh my god. Okay, maybe I didn't do this. Oh wait, that's the last one. Solving the puzzle will spawn the small platform shown in the image. Get there by using levitation. You'll find a cat figure. Can you not show me? I did this one. I did this. I'm pretty sure I did that. So the last one would be this one. Uh, this figure re requires visiting two different areas. Start by reaching any checkpoint and move to the astral collision, which is the astral plane you visited for the first time. When you get there, turn 90 degrees to the right and take a few. You'll have to jump down lower to use levitation to avoid fall damage. Throw the cube at a toilet, partially exposed in the distance. You want, If you want, you can also fly there to discover one of the hidden places, but it's optional. All right, and then you need to go back to a bathroom in the collapse department. Uh, start moving your astral toilet. Yep. Cat figure will appear at the passage between the toilet and the astral plane. Oh my god. This is so involved. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Um, Two different areas. Astral collision. Okay. Astral collision. And then we got to jump down. This, this... What a puzzle. These fucking cats. Uh, how do I get out of here? You'd have to, yeah, you have to blow that wall up accidentally. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I need three points to upgrade melee. Fast travel. Uh, astral collision. Here we go. And then there's a secret area down here. I don't know that this is what I was going for. Where's the toilet? I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh, fuck. Okay. Hold on. I was too quick there. It would be quicker to do this <laughs> and respot at the control point than it is to go back. <laughs> All right. All right. What did this say? We have to follow this word for word. When you get there, turn 90 degrees to the right. Take a few steps forward. You have to jump to the lower area shown in the image. There should be boxes. Use levitation to avoid fall damage. Once you land, you have to deal with opponents. Look around the area for a cube. Okay. 90 degrees to the right. We do want to jump off here. Use... Okay. It is those... Aren't those the boxes? Where's the gold cube, though? Is there not a gold cube here? I don't see a gold cube. 
That does look like the spot, but there's no gold cube. And where's the toilet in the distance? You know what I mean? There's that. Good news is this deals with a hidden location, but I don't know that this is right. I don't know that I'm dropping down to the right place. I'm going to reload again. We're going to have to explore more before we do that. We're in the, I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, that's what it felt like. I did that though. I turned 90. Okay. This is the point. Turn 90 degrees to the right and then go down it said, but that's not it. It did kind of match the picture. I think they have the wrong definition. The gold cube, is that it over there? This is it. This is it. There's the three boxes. Found it. I see the toilet. Oh my god. Hidden location. All right. And I threw that in there, didn't I? Okay. Now. Okay, the game saved. I'm scared to reload though. Like, how do I get out of here? This hallway over here, maybe? I'm scared to reload that the game won't think I've done that. No, that's the way we got in. Uh-oh. 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 We might be in trouble. Oop. Oop. We gotta make our way back to that control point, right? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I was right there, game. You get it. Get off your shit. Oh my god, good thing I didn't try that. This has been an amazing playthrough. Thank you. I tried. I got stuck a few times here today. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are we going? I can't upgrade anything. Yeah, I need three points. Why are you telling me that game? All right. I think this is like literally the last big secret we haven't done. And then we need to go return any checkpoint, fast travel, collapse department, start moving through location. Your destination is the astral toilet from the images above. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Collapse department. Got it. And then this is, this is it, right? This is it. Oops. I got it. <gasps> Uh, yes. I've already technically beat it. I've beat everything. I'm just doing, uh, secrets right now. Because my stubborn ass can't leave anything uncompleted. Yep, keep going. We gotta go through here. The way out is up here. Right? The toilet's right here. This is the astral toilet. All right, hold on. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up. Uh, return to start moving with this. Okay, your destination is the astral toilet from the images above. Defeat flying opponents in the astral plane. If you threw the cube correctly earlier, it will be levitating here now. Grab it and throw it into the slot in the picture above. Okay. The cat figurine will appear at the passage between the toilet and the astral plane. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I think I understand. 
Alright. Where did this guy go? There we go. Ow, shit. Alright. I got the kitty, right? I got the kitty. Fuck you. Alright, hold on. Let's just make sure. That should be all the cats. Now we gotta find the secret room. The only way to find the secret room is to collect, 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 collect all eight figurines first. The picture shows the destination. It is a location with bridges over caverns. Okay. Uh, it is best to travel to the collapse department checkpoint and return to the area with bridges. Reach the easternmost bridge. There should be nine cats in this place. One that has already been here and eight that you've managed to find. All right. All right. I don't want to spoil what, what our surprise is. Okay. So we got to go back. Fuck, dude. That was one of the hardest collectibles for you? Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the fucking chasm one. Fuck that. All right. It should be this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we gotta reach the bridge. Okay, we're in the right spot. Now just to see if we have all the I see kitties. Question is, do I have them all? I think I got them all. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Oh god. Oh thank god I have them all. Oh, they're waving their little paws. I am their leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wave the paws. Yeah, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. I got all the cats. I got all the cats. Hell yeah, dude. Cat dance. Cat dance. Cat dance. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Here we go. Oh my god. There are so I didn't realize how much was opening. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the cat god. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. It's the big, there's a cat picture. <laughs> what is all this? Why is there a little ball? There's a little soccer ball. All right, what does this say? I have cat ears. I love this. This is so dumb. So this cat's uh, thing was it duplicates, right? Uh, so there's a bunch of duplicated cats in here hidden, and then there's the picture. <laughs> I have a cat. I love how you have to do this long quest. It's the it's the devs trolling you, and then they give you cat ears. So this is so stupid. Does this say anything else? Use it, it'll lead you to a secret room. The game will reward you with the one of us trophy. Oh, so there's an actual thing for this. Cat ears, which you could take from the pedestal. Jesse will automatically wear them. If you don't want to use the ears, put them where you found the item. <laughs> I have to keep them on, right? Because we did so much for that. All right. All right. I got to wear the cat ears. I have the cat ears. And I guess we could come back here anytime. Oh, the cat's transported from here in there except that one yeah i have to use them i agree 100 percent. oh 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 i died <laughs> one final death one final death anyway i wanted to go back to the um the uh the main point real quick the main control point just to look at outfits um there's a couple outfits i don't think i got <laughs> way to go out with a bang yeah i got i got cat ears though dude look at that look at that does it change so somebody was asking about the gold suit i have the gold suit i did that puzzle um, I have the asynchronous suit. I got the expedition gear for doing expeditions, which is what I've been wearing. Um, the one thing I didn't get, you remember the shoom cabinet? If you complete one of the challenge modes, because I was looking up outfits, the only outfit I don't think I got was, um, if you complete one of the challenge modes for the shoom cabinet, 
Um, you get a space suit. You get a space suit. Um, it's orange and white. It looks pretty cool here. I'll just, I'll just show it to you guys real quick. I don't think I need to go do that though. That's a challenge thing that could take a long time. And it's basically just being really good at combat. We did expeditions together. I'm not going to make you guys set through that. Um, orange and white space suit control, 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 control. Oh, okay. Control game. Uh, extra dimensional suit. I'm sorry is what it's called. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. There you go. It looks pretty cool. But, nah. There's an urban response suit. That was a DLC pre-order and you can't get it anymore. But I don't really feel the need to get that. I'm going to be honest. I might at some point. So let's do this. I think I have finished with control. Let's go out and look how I did achievement wise. Because I'm curious. 77%. I got 52 out of 67. 1,120 gamer score out of 1,390. So what did I miss? All right. Collect all the collectibles in the foundation DLC. I only got 87%. So I missed a few collectibles. Kill 50 enemies with Surge. That's the last weapon form you get. I'm almost there. Find all the hidden locations in the foundation. I only found 50%. I think there's 10. So I missed five hidden locations. All the hidden locations in uh, investigations. Same thing. I think there's 10. I missed five. Kill 25 airborne rangers. If I have 40%. So that was the new enemy type in the AWE DLC. I only killed 40% of 25. A shield. So 100 enemies with shield rush. And 10 enemies with shield burst. I, I like didn't use shield during the game. Have a deployed ranger kill five enemies. So that means get a ranger, seize the ranger to, to be on your side. And then you need him to kill. You need to have him kill five enemies. That seems pretty hard. And then two secret achievements. I don't know what the secret ones are. Let's look up control achievements real quick. And let's see. If we know control game secret, it might be have something to do with the DLCs. Anyway, we I did 98% of this game, 99% of this game. Does it break it down to secret? Yeah, here we go. Wait, no. Well, it breaks it down by this. Uh his sharpens, hidden location, shield. Gather all the mankind neck neckos. I did that. So the complete the side mission swift platform. I did that. Fight off Hartman. I did that. Surge upgrade surge to the max. I did that. Defeat Hartman. Yep. Vending spree. Destroy eighty percent of the altered vending machine instances. Okay, so I didn't do that. That's in AWE. So those v red vending machines that were floating around. I didn't do that. And I also didn't do this. Work smarter, not harder. Attach a surge grenade to an object and launch it at an enemy. I didn't do that. All right. I could easily go back and mop up the trophies, but yeah. All right, chat. I wanted to do this because I've been, I've been, I've been doing this every now and then. Let's do something real quick. Let's do some fun together real quick. This is different. We're going to end the stream by playing a couple quick games of something. Something that is near and dear to my hearts. So you can stick around if you want. I know it's getting late. We're only going to be going like another 20 minutes, if that. All right. This is different. Halo. I love Halo, guys. I wanted to play a couple, just a couple matches of Halo. I've been getting back into Halo recently. You know, I love Halo. Halo Infinite's the current one, but... I played a lot of a lot. We've talked a lot about Halo, my favorite games. I just want to play a couple multiplayer matches, finish off. You know, Halo is relaxing to me, as crazy as that sounds. Let's do that. Let's finish it off. So, congrats on almost 100% control. We did all the important content, right? The the other stuff is just like some challenges around killing enemies. But I found. 99% of control. We did all the side quests together, all of that. We found all the main story lore, all that good stuff. So, I just want to play a couple matches of I've been I've been what I've been doing when I work late at night is when I finish, 
I've been like kind of clearing my brain out by just playing a couple of matches of Halo because it just it's nostalgic for me. I like it. So let's do it. They can't my cam froze. It got my good side. <laughs> All right. Hold on. God, I love Halo so much. It's too bad that Halo would do terrible on my channel. Otherwise, I'd play all the Halo games with you. They're so fun. They can be scary at times. Some of the Forerunner shit and everything. It's definitely scary. Why Why camera no work? Camera, why you no work? Uh, We don't need the death counter for this because it's Halo. You're going to die. So actually, I'll turn off the death count. Plus, I can get a death. There's a death counter in game, right? There we go. You guys are going to have see me focus like never before. All right. Just a few, just a few, just a few. Uh, let's, let's play. We might play, we'll play a couple different game modes. I'm going to do Team Slayer though to warm up. Have I been improving in a Halo? I'm a mediocre Halo player. I'm mediocre. We'll see how we do tonight. Halo is definitely my best FPS game. I don't play a lot of FPSs anymore, but I definitely play Halo best. I gotta remind myself what's my setup here yeah melee control okay i got it the flood freaks you out the flood is terrifying is <laughs> skilly doing a competitive shoot em up fps for this i'm here for this now listen i don't know the all the maps in halo infinite as well as i do like halo 3 or halo reach which are the two halo games that i probably played the most multiplayer on like i've literally spent probably an entire year of my life playing halo multiplayer on halo reach and three but they remade a lot of threes maps in halo infinite which is cool and a lot of reaches like this is guardian Slayer. if you played halo 3 this is a remake of guardian this map right here one of the best halo 3 maps oh my god it's so good yeah pe some people do take this shit way too seriously but no halo is uh, hold on. I gotta turn this down a little. It's gonna be too loud. I can already tell. You guys tell me if it ends up being too loud. Uh, you didn't get to see my character. Well, you did, kind of. Junior with the $10 stream elements donation. Junior, you legend. Thank you. Alright. Let's get it. Let's see how good I do. I will say, sliding came into play. Was it Halo 4 or Halo 5? I forget. That definitely added a different... Oh, he's got camo. Fuck. All right, I don't want to fuck with that. Not right now. Nope. Too open space right there, bud. Damn it! First death. I should have got it. Oh, he was the invisible guy. Son of a bitch. The Halo... Dude, Halo music is so good, isn't it? Alright. I know Guardian like the back of my hand. Bitch. Definitely employed. Oh, you had right rockets? You had job. rockets, dude? I... I swear to God, I meleeed. At least I took a shield out. Somebody, please, no shield. Where's my team, dude? How are we losing four to ten? I got the most kills. Guys, I'm gonna need you to step up. What the fuck are you doing here? Puncture proficiency increased. That guy had a bead on me way too quick. He's got, dude. He's good with that pistol. I'll give it to him. I missed. This is the uh, brute sniper, the skewer. Oh, I missed again. I should have shot lower. I'm not a great sniper with this thing. I'm pretty good with the uh, UNSC sniper, but not this one. Active camo available. One, two. Damn, he didn't. I thought he was going to pop back, dude. I thought he was coming. All right, fine. <laughs> A teammate and I had both 
the same idea. Behind us. Below us. Okay, below us. We're good. We're good. Cover me, bud. Cover me. They're gonna both jump up here. Where? I didn't know there was not a sword on the original guardian. <laughs> Power weapons available for procurement. Damn it, I was getting I was getting fucked from behind. Eyes up. There's somebody behind me. Oh! Assassination. Gotcha. You trying to steal my kill, sword bitch? Go get your own. Ooh. 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 Did he die? He went off, didn't he? Fuck. No, he didn't. He survived. Your fucking shield grenade stole my kill, bitch. Can you still do this? Can you still do this? You absolutely can! Oh, fuck! Would have been so cool if I killed that guy. <laughs> it looked like I was worried for a second there. I just jumped to my death. That used to be a trick in Guardian on Halo 3 is to jump down like that to get your positioning. God, the number of grenades that guy's fucking with. Did he jump? <gasps> fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, I, I killed myself there. God damn it. What am I, eight and six with one assist? This is a bad match for me. At least I have a positive KD right now. Huh? I should have slid down. Not dead. What did he kill me with? Ah. Oh. Your power items are ready for pickup. They are all down there. They're gonna fly up. Oh, oh. Guy's above me, right? Or below me. Saw you, bitch. I saw the shimmer, motherfucker. Invisible fuck. Dude, you scared me. Oh, I left rockets over there and I shouldn't have done that. Guy below. Right? He knows I have sword. Five minutes Got him. Killing spree. I'm on a killing spree. Hearing 
<laughs> that was a bitch move. That was so rude. <laughs> Where are they? You did wake up to Halo. I finished control and I just wanted to have a little fun. Oh, I missed the, the grenade bounce there. Got one. Active camo. Inbound. Fuck, if they see me here, I'm screwed. But. Shall I call? Double kill. Double kill. Active camo available. How much do I got left on sword? 13%. One slash. What are we at? 44. We need six kills. All right, we got this. Guys, stop grenading me. I'm over there. I know you can see me. Gotcha. Killing frenzy, dude. Ten kills, no deaths. A key to the city for you. Fucking hell, Sentinel Beam. And then I died. <laughs> what am I at? 18 kills and 8 deaths, 1 assist. I'm leading the team. Turned it around. Your power weapon. Gotcha. Successfully delivered. Oh no! Great! Oh, I took a shield! Yes! Victory. I got the assist for that kill right there, for the final kill. Nobody's gonna know I played Halo. This is a little treat for the 70 of you that stayed up with me. Nobody's gonna know I played Halo at the end of this video. So I had a killing frenzy, I had two double kills, killing spree, of course. 48% accuracy is not bad. Uh, <clears throat> 19 kills. Wait, that's how many points? How do I flip to the other page again? I haven't played this one. 19 kills, nine deaths, two assists, 10.7 KD. Best KD in the game. Best KD in the match. Holy shit. All right. Let's play one more Team Slayer. <laughs> I popped off. I did pretty good that one. I'm not going to do that good every match. I will tell you that right now. I'm a, I'm an okay. I'm bad at Call of Duty or I'm not great. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm like mid or high mid at Halo. So I've played a lot of Halo in my life though. Also, this is crossplay, and I'm on mouse and keyboard, so. That was a really good match for me, though. <laughs> Joseph said, I hate to say this, but I'm very surprised. I didn't think skill had these kind of S FPS skills. I've played a lot of FPS in my life. What's up, Trenton? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Skillker, welcome. Good to see you. You guys might have been here for a bit, and I missed you. Yes, they will. We are so bragging next stream. All right. <laughs> That's my dude. Look at that dude from Reach, right? I recreated the guy from Reach. Halo Mod Night. We could do Halo Mod Night. Yeah, I'm hell. I am hella bad at COD. I have my moments in COD. Slayer. I think I'm better than casual players, typically, right? I will say too, Halo has a the Halo Infinite has a smaller player base right now. So obviously I played against some people who weren't the best there, but a lot of Halo Infinite players right now are pretty good. They're usually pretty sweaty. This is a Halo 3 remake map as well. I forgot the name of the original, but this I know this map too. It's very it's a very easy map. There is a sniper too. So if I can get my hands on the sniper, I'll try to snipe. Or at least there was in Halo 3. I don't know if there's one in this one. Yeah, IGP is really good at FPSs and playing with him with skill-based matchmaking. Yeah, the sniper's down there. That other guy's going to go for it. Here's the deal, though. And 
one, performing in optimal range. Nope, nobody else over here. Fuck it, dude. Where? Oh, camo, man. I heard him, but I couldn't turn around. There went my sniper and rockets. Now they have them. Fuck. Oh, give me a BR, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll switch it out for the pistol. All right. Please tell me somebody killed that guy. Did you guys just let him run you? I got a kill from the grave with that grenade. Fuck yeah. And two kill assists. All right, I'll take it. It's a good death grenade. I want that sniper up there, though. Is it still there? It is. Nope. Fuck, I'm on the I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't think they were on that side. Oh, Jesus. Damn it, kill him, please. Please? What are you doing, dude? He, did he miss every shot from his assault rifle there for like a full minute? What the fuck was that? What are we, three and four? Ooh, I'm doing bad. Power equipment incoming. I'm being a bitch right now. Using power coils to kill people. Power equipment in stores now. I missed. And I'm in trouble. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. I shouldn't have did that. I tried to fuck around. <laughs> Cod scares you? Cod can be scary. I think it's you gotten better. The Generally. Okay. Where the fuck did you come from? Three and six. God damn it. I will say this is really hard to play and also try to catch chat. <laughs> I don't know how FPS players do this because you gotta pay, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep your head about you in an, in, an in an FPS game. How many grenades was that? Like six? And now they're gonna pick up our sniper because it's respawning in one second. Your power weapons have a they have rockets too. Jesus Christ, we're getting our asses handed to us. I'm three and eight. I'm doing terrible. Enemy halfway to victory. Two of them, though. God damn it. How prevalent do I think hacking is in Halo? Well, Halo has a pretty good anti-cheat now. So I don't think it's too prevalent. But um, I would say somewhere probably between 5 and 10% of players. Just in general for any FPS. It's hard for devs to keep up, dude. Uh, I got a grenade off to take his shield down. So these guys are sweaty. But sorry, they're moving too. I'm not playing with a team, right? These guys are moving together. If you see them, they're always in groups of at least two or three. So these guys are communicating and playing together really well. You see? <laughs> I kill one guy, then there's like, there's a bunch others. Later, Skilker. Have a good one. Thanks for joining. If I can get my hands on a power weapon or a sniper. Spanker, inbound. How did I miss that guy? He almost got me. Uh, and I'm dead. They got one headshot on me. I'm doing the best on my team, but these guys are rough. Titanfall 2 is so much fun. 
I love it. Are, are they back up? I heard that uh, the multiplayer and the servers went down. Did they come back? Or are they, are they officially gone? It might be all community run now. They have rockets, don't they? Son of a fucking bitch. Nope, we got them. Their sniper's about to come back, though. And ours, too. They're gonna spawn behind us, guys. Yep, they're spawning back here. How did I end up hurting myself? I threw it at the fucking wall? Doing so bad this match. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't think Halo has that bad of a hacking problem, I'll be honest with you. Or at least infinite. Successfully delivered. Alright. Fucking what did I get stuck on? Assist. Oh, I missed. Got him. Bring distance calculated. How did I? Dude, we got our asses kicked. Nine and thirteen was four assists. I did bad. Ugh. Win negative four. Got three and 15 though from that one guy. Holy shit. All right, let's run a couple more. See, now I'm in it. Let's use the XP boost. Yeah, it, it typically, I, I think Halo is notoriously kind of hard to hack, so, or have hacks in, out of, out of all the FPS games, so. Did anybody know, is Titanfall 2 back up? We'll have to look that up at the end here. Uh, I did beat the campaign on Titanfall 2. The campaign is great, it's short, right? I like the first Titanfall a lot, but Titanfall 2 was just on another level. I think that was a really underappreciated game, too. It's great. The movement and everything in Titanfall is really good. Slayer. You think uh, Titanfall 2 servers are back? That's good. Bungie has a superiority complex that can't handle. Well, it, Halo is no longer Bungie, right? Although a lot of people from Bungie are in it, but uh, it got handed over to Microsoft and 343, right? Then contact. So 343 Studios are the devs of uh, Halo Infinite. They also did Halo 4 and 5. Reach was the last Bungie Halo. Holy fuck, dude. They are, they are dialed in. All right. Where are they? Spanker available. I have to say, they have a sniper or somebody somewhere. Gotcha. Definitely employed. You need to be behind more cover than that, dude, if your shield's down. These guys scale scale me because they were they were nailing me from way far away. Oh no! I ran out of pistol bullets in my clip. Fuck, dude. There's a fishing call of the wild. I mean, that kind of makes sense for that type of game. that guy where did that guy come from Up there. seriously we're getting our asses kicked again 
Well, normally I did really good the first game. Normally I don't do that bad. Oh, I got a kill with my grenade. Three for three. I keep glancing over at chat. I got to stop glancing over at chat so much. Keep my eyes on the prize. Two guys shoot. There's no cover. I don't like this map. Spanker inbound. Spanker's closing in. One, two, three. Rockets. God damn it. Hey, take care, Arrow. Have a good one, man. Thanks for joining. Oh, no. Did I get a... Did I get a... No, I got a, an assist. Fuck, man. My team's getting their asses kicked in this, too. This is what happens when you play with randoms. Repulsor. None of us are working together, so we're just all running around lone wolfing it. How did I fucking... Dude, dream killer. That guy's running around with no shield, right? Right in front of your face, bro. What are you doing? Dude was one shot. Dude was one fucking shot. What am I? Four and eight? Jesus Christ, that's atrocious. And we melee killed each other. <laughs> I'm five and nine. I gotta end on a good game. I gotta have a good game. I also might be too tired to do this. It's late. I'm just going to make every excuse in the book for my shitty performance. What was that? A punch? Was there an invisible guy? There was a guy with camo. Fuck. I was about to say, dude, I had a grenade on you. No way you, you win that. Thought I heard somebody coming. All right, we got to lock that up before they do. So quick. I'm trying to come back and go positive, at least in this game. Enemy team nearing victory. Yeah, we're getting our Power asses whooped. Requisition. At your earliest convenience, please collect your power weapons. Ooh, that guy's snapping. Ooh, hot dog. S7 sniper prepared for deployment. Where is he at? Extreme distance. Double kill with the snipe, baby. Double snipe. Woo! 
I missed. I should be sniping that guy. I got four bullets left though. Try oh. five minutes remaining. Two shots left. I got a double sniper kill though. Hell yeah. And I'm 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 not positive, but I'm not negative. I'm eleven kills, eleven deaths. Spanker inbound. Where was that guy? Now I'm negative. God fucking damn it. 11 and 12 with three assists. Guy above me, 17 and six. God damn, he's rocking. He's the whole reason we're in this game. Down. Got an assist for that, good shit. Almost had that guy. Where did he go? Got him. Last shot in the clip, too. Fucking metal. We're in the lead? We're gonna win this? Holy fuck, dude. One of our teammates really pulled it out. He's got 20 kills. I got 17. You gotta be careful. I don't want to be the reason the team loses. Oh no. Somebody kill. Thank you. Kill assist. Yes. Oh, I thought that guy was about to get a double. Powerful munitions in route. All right. Weapons have arrived. Fucking hell, dude. That guy chased me. Now I'm 12 and 14. I'm doing terrible. How exact do your control sensitivities have to be to be the best for Halo? I think it's all about comfort. So just whatever you're comfortable with, right? I didn't realize I thought the game was already over and I was the last kill. Fuck. So it just depends. Whatever you feel dialed in with, I have mine set a little high. I think a little bit higher control sensi- or uh, like mouse sensitivity or stick sensitivity is better. I did bad. I had decent accuracy. I had decent accuracy, but I did piss poor. What did I do? 12 and 15 with five assists. Yeah, look at that guy. 21 and eight. He's, I guarantee he's pissed that we lost that match. Do you find you can't play very well if it isn't? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like what's, uh, I can't, I think if I show you my settings, it'll, oh, uh, is it keyboard and mouse? Where's the movement and aiming? Where's the sensitivity? So you can see the, the tick is where it normally is. I think it's normally at two and a half and I have mine set to four. So. I have mine set fairly. I have mine set a whole 1.5 above standard. What's up, Hex Heck Rex? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. All right, guys, I'm gonna do like one, maybe two more games, and then I'm done of Halo. I just really wanted to play some Halo tonight too. <laughs> so I was hoping I finished Control in time, and then um, Monday, no, no content, right? Monday I use as a recording day. And then Tuesday, I'll be back with streams. I haven't decided yet on what we're going to do. It's pretty late. There's only like 60 of you here. So I don't know if I'll do a vote. Um, plus, I don't even know. I didn't get my shit together today to figure out what games to have you vote on. So sorry. <laughs> I didn't anticipate control taking that long. Um, but yeah, we'll have to do that. Yeah, what's up, Ojib? Welcome to the stream. I Yeah, what happened is I looked at chat. I looked at chat. I'm not a big fan of this map. I'll be honest. This map rupture. What I don't like about Infinite is they don't tell you the map name in the beginning. They just tells you the game mode up there. I like when it tells you the map name. An indie horror game? Potentially. Potentially. I don't know. 
I'll be back on Tuesday with a stream from 10 a.m. Eastern to about 2 p.m. ish, right? Fatalities. This is my typical. Points. points give victory. Oh, he's got no shield. Come on, dude. Gotcha. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Fuck, man. I gotta stop putting myself in openings like that. Like that's. I was. I was on the corner of the middle of the map right there. I'm wide open. Of course they're gonna fucking kill me. Stick to map edges. That's my tip for Halo. Run the outside of the map. through and my shield to go up. I didn't kill that guy. He's low shield. I need grenades, dude. Gave the lead. Oh, oh, that guy's trying to kill me. Lost the lead. I had grenades. Here we go. Grenades. Doing bad this match too, dude. What the fuck's wrong with me? No, the pistol's not like the first Halo. What's up, Shade? But it's... They improved upon it. It's better than Halo 2, 3, 4, 5's pistol. <laughs> That's for sure. Active camo. They really Inbound. nerfed the pistol after the first Halo. Active camo available. Dude. I have the worst luck running into every single player. I just want to have one good match and then I'll call it. Are you fucking kidding me? I did get a killing frenzy tonight though. I'm happy about that. What's everybody? If you like Halo or you've played them, what's your favorite Halo? Mine is probably Halo 3 or Reach, probably. Alright, they know where I'm at. Time to reposition. Oh my god, I'm getting frustrated! Trash these randoms? No, nah, it's not gonna happen. It's too late. I'm too tired. I wish, dude. I did really good the first match. Rewind and watch me play the first match. Victory. I did really good there. My normal skill level is somewhere between that first match and these matches. Usually the sword spawns down here on this map. Did he get a grenade that I didn't see? I think I heard a grenade. Yeah, they are working very closely together. And I'm not communicating with my team and I'm usually alone. So that doesn't help out. We melee killed each other. Lovely. Good night, Misty. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for subscribing, Blackheart Inc. Good to have you. I'm also slowly bleeding viewers because it's so late at night and because I'm playing Halo. I just want to have one decent game before we finish. Or one more decent game, I should add. I had a really good game at the start. This is the Disruptor Pistol. This was new for Halo Infinite. Jesus Christ. I got, I got sandwiched there. I got Oreoed between two guys. How the fuck did that happen? Famous last words? I know, I'll be here till 5 a.m., right? Oh, battle rifle. Thank God. This model is range certified.
Two of them up there. How the fuck? What did he have? That didn't seem... That seemed fucking weird. I got two kills and nine deaths. I'm doing... I never do this bad. Did I just get put in crazy lobbies tonight? I've been playing for the past week or two. So perhaps I've upped my skill, my skill-based matchmaking level and I'm playing people who are better than me. Jesus Christ, that gang. The dude came through the door hard. Pressure from being on stream? Nah, I don't know. I don't really feel nervous or pressured on streams anymore. I'll be honest. It's a little bit exciting, like, right before you start. But that's about it. Jesus, I didn't see that guy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, over I did really good in that first game, and now the game... They, get, they put me in. They're like, oh shit, this guy got a killing frenzy. Let's drop him into higher higher skill-based lobbies, right? Yeah, you might be right. Oh, sword. Oh, uh, there was no avoiding that. God damn, 3 and 12. I can't even get a fucking kill, dude. All the Aussies are on. Are the Aussies good at Halo? Is that what it is? That guy used a grappling. I got a grenade on both of them. I got two kill assists for that grenade. I'm glad that that guy took him out. This is a fun weapon, the Hydra. It's like a mini rocket launcher, but it does way less damage. And it has a lot more rockets. Five minutes remaining. Defeat. Yeah, oh my God, that's horrible. I don't even, we're gonna pretend that game didn't happen. All right, one more probably, and then I should go to bed. It's got to be a good one, though. It's got to be a good one. Maybe we'll try a different game mode. Stream sniping? Nah. Nobody would stream snipe me, would they? they? How would they? They couldn't get my lobby. Can we blame it on stream sniping? Can I use every excuse in the book? <laughs> Let's play a different... Uh, ooh. What should we play? Oh, I could play firefight against grunts. Big team battle, heavies, infection. Infection's always fun. Team doubles, FFA Slayer. Do they have a Fiesta Slayer? Okay, Fiesta Slayer is fun. So Fiesta Slayer, you every spawn, so every spawn you have two different random weapons. Everybody does. So you could get shit weapons. You could get good power weapons. You could get everything. So let's end on this. These are always fun, regardless of how I do. This is Team Slayer, but Fiesta style. I love Fiesta style. So let's do that. It'll be a good one to end on. It shall be a good one to end on. You want me to play free for all Hex Rex? Or he Heck Rex? I don't play too much free for all. I like the team based game modes a little bit more, to be honest. Although, I typically play Halo with a lot with friends. Or at least I used to before we all became adults and had lives. Yeah, I used to when Halo 3 and Reach were out. Well, Reach came out when I first started college, kind of. Or like I don't remember what year. Maybe it was senior year of high school. But yeah, it used to be finish school and if I wasn't working, hop on Halo and just play Halo. <laughs> that was a sad sentence. It's true. Now that I'm in my 30s, all my friends are in their 30s too and we all have families and I mean my job is gaming, but even if I game even if I did Halo for streams and stuff, like none of my friends would be around to play. Halo does have a really good soundtrack, Snake Doc. Some of that customization in Infinite is insane. Ooh, I got a sword and a sniper. Give. Holy Point. shit. Talk about give. Victory. an interesting mix. All right. Well, let's run around and sword people, huh? Let's just have some fun. 
If I die, I'll get two new weapons. That's the way Fiesta works. Well, he just got fucking cracked. Oh my god. Hammer? Okay. The hammer, I think, is OP at an infinite. The distance that you could do good with it. I got a mangler and an assault rifle. Wonderful. The assault rifle's decent. Mangler, I hate the mangler. It's like a shotgun pistol. It's a brute weapon. Sucks. This guy's just tanking people. There we go. We got him. Can I have my sword back? Where's my sword? Somebody else take my fucking sword. I'll take the shock rifle. I kind of like the... Ooh. Someone did take my sword. My sword now. It's still full. You're not gonna hit me with a rocket from that far, bud. It ain't happening. Rockets move so slow in Halo. Where are they? Where are they? There's only three people. No, there's four people on their team. Where the fuck are they then? Needles. Ah, oh, damn, he dropped before I could get my next shot off. These guys are staying back. My teammates are also crushing them. Did not wear proper Poor guy. He had no clue. Oh, they killed each other? I should pick up that. If I was smart, I would pick up the hammer. Where the fuck? Was that a hammer? It was. Yeah, it was a hammer. Where the fuck was that guy? I didn't even see him. Assault rifle and plasma pistol? Really, game? That's what you're giving me? Out of all the possible combinations? That's a. I didn't think that was okay. I committed kermicide. I'm doing bad this match too. Yeah, I did do that one guy dirty. I have rockets. Oh, oh. I got four in the tube too. I didn't realize that that was an out of part. Dude, that guy stole my kill. I just wasted all of my rockets. There's that. I couldn't get away from that. I got a kill from the grave, though, with my grenade. Good shit, man. A skewer and a... They keep giving me assault rifles. What you want is you want to get the power weapons, right? Can I go around this way? I can. Mantle, mantle. Take care, Panthera. Have a good one. I'm gonna get below this guy. Rockets. God damn, I turned that and got fucking ready. Not really a fiesta, more of a mild hot sauce. I'm doing terrible. I'm two and five. I got. I keep getting fucking. This is the problem with Fiesta sometimes. Uh, 
<laughs> I killed the sword guy with a fucking plasma pistol. <laughs> oh my god, he should not have charged with no shield. That's a terrible fucking idea. Ooh, can I jump up here? Is that what this is? Is this a man cannon? It is a man cannon. Oh, fuck. Why does it look so different? That must be new and... Ooh, ooh girl. And is this sword better? It is. Yeah, 100%. Oh, did I miss that guy? I missed him. Where is he? I don't... He's not moving. Wherever he's at. No! Oh, what's that? Oh, it's the bulldog shotgun. Okay, no wonder. He just got a bull troop medal then. I got another sword. I got another sword. The game has been giving me a lot of the same weapons. I haven't cycled through more of the interesting ones. I'm worried about stepping on water now after killing myself that one time. Five minutes remaining. Yeah, he's waiting for me. Son of a bitch. No, you're not getting me twice with that shotgun, bitch. Detecting Fuck you. Energy signatures. Fucking hammer. Are they coming back this way? This little room right here seems to be fucking hot, dude. Caution may cause burns. Vaporization complete. I got my sword back to a hundred. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, dude. Is the guy above me? He's above me. Okay. I can ooh ooh ooh. Is he right up here? Enemy kind of is. Nearing victory. He's trying to hit me. What the fuck? Okay, I got rocketed. What am I at? Eight and seven. I'm positive at least. We're losing by three kills though. That's no good. Oh, dude, a ravager, really? This thing fucking sucks. It looks crazy when you fire it, but the damage on it is terrible. It looks crazy. Man, he got me. See, that's what I'm talking about. I fired that thing straight in that guy's face. It's supposed to be a bit of a power weapon. It blows donkey dick, dude. And I got it again. It sucks so bad. All right, I managed to evade that guy. So I'm assuming if you fall in that water down there that I've been so casually jumping over. Sentinel beam is kind of nice though. Root shot? Where the fuck was that coming from? Got him. Cautious. Forty-six to forty-six. No, he got me with needles. How come the sentinel beam didn't kill him though? I'm Do nine and nine. Feet. We lost! At least, at least I went, I went negative. What's my favorite type of soup? Mmm, probably potato soup. Potato soup, or can I do a basic 
answer of like a really good chicken noodle, but it needs like full pieces of chicken noodle. You know what I mean? So somehow tonight, my first game was my best game with the Killing Frenzy. That's kind of crazy. I just unlocked a ton of shit. I guess I went up to the next grade above Lieutenant Colonel. Which is Colonel. Yep. All right, guys, that's it for me. I thank you for permitting me to play a little bit of Halo at the end of stream. I just wanted to... That's, that was my chill out for the night. I use Halo as my chill out. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. I will be back on Tuesday with a stream, 10 a.m. Eastern time. We will start. We're going to do something new. I haven't decided what it is yet, but it'll be something fun as always. Everybody take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome.